Good afternoon, folks. Sorry about not being around this morning. I had some stuff I had to take care of IRL that I didn't anticipate having to take care of, but it just kind of happened. Life happens sometimes, but right now what's going to happen is we're going to be starting to play uh, RimWorld. I've pro I think I've played it a few times before on the channel, but I have not like had a dedicated slot for it. I think it was just kind of like, oh, I'll play it here and there. But yeah, that's going to be our new uh, Saturday afternoon game when I do these Saturday streams is RimWorld. And we're going to make some, we're just going to make a, a disaster probably, but you know what, that's part of the fun. But before we get into that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also work to, dis to address the disproportionately high rate and harm of jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Yeah, there's things aren't looking super hot in the States for us LGBTQ individuals, so... Um, yeah, these folks help with stuff like that. If that sounds like something you'd want to donate towards, I have a donate command, exclamation point, donate. I have a chatbot that shares that every 30 minutes. Below the stream, there should be a button that will take you to the Tiltify page where you can also donate. And at once the stream window comes up, I will have a QR code that you can scan with your mobile device that will also help you donate if that's how you want to do it. Any way you choose to do so, I really appreciate you and your time. All right, so. Probably don't want to turn that off. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Take a drink of this stuff here. And we're going to get into some silly shit. Because the room world's always full of silly shit. Shut up, uh, shut up OBS. I haven't even done anything yet. There we go. Eventually. <clears throat> It'll get there. There we go. Just just a smattering of the new stuff in the freaking in this DLC. There's children, there's robots. You can have a person that can that tape basically controls robots. Yeah, pretty cool. But we're going to start a new colony. Um Oh, oh, that's interesting. A crash landed phage needing blood to survive and a human colonist. And then there's, they've added a few new um, starting scenarios. Um, I am gonna pick the Lost Tribe because Unga Bunga. But I might choose not to start with anything because like, that gives you a lot of stuff. I think in that case, we're going to, um, I made some, um, some custom scenarios where I just took away all the starter equipment. For the, for the sake of it not being ter as terrible, we'll start with a new tribe of three people instead of five with a new starting zone, because, like, yeah. So we're going to be the Unga Bunga folk, as, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. And we will pick the middle difficulty, because sometimes Randy just says fuck you and just wants to ruin your day anyway, but we'll pick the middle difficulty. All right. <clears throat> oh, fine. Mm. We'll pick, well, don't do commitment mode. That's kind of like the intended... Yeah, it's kind of the intended way to experience the game. All right. Seed. 
Let's do charity, because we are fundraising. Uh, globe coverage. The plan is always the same diameter, but since it's farther larger than the need for play, we don't generate the whole surface because it can take a very long time. I want it all! I want it all! Uh, pollution? Excuse me, that's new. Factions, okay. Insect gene lines. Mechanoid Hives, Shattered Empire, Waster Pirates, Intakin Pirates. Savage Impids, oof. Fierce Neanderthal Tribe. Okay, cool. Fine by me. Um, well, it, says it might take a while to um, gen harvest all the organs. I'm not going to be evil immediately, Birdie, but organs are very good money. <laughs> but yeah, I've got the new DLC. I got some mods, as you can see there. Most of them are just like hair, or, like just little HUD shit or whatever. Well, it didn't take that long to generate the world. Hmm. Round Crow Barons. Hey, it's you, the Round Crow. <laughs> Tangled Octopus Body. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these names are great. Seahorse Chin Mountains. <laughs> hmm. Ideally, we, w we would set up near uh, someone we could trade with and... In somewhere that has at least some grow growing season. Uh, we're gonna bump up the map size to a little bigger. I like those bigger maps. It's not like large, cause like large like breaks like they explain large breaks the game bas basically. Cause some things that are supposed to happen just um, may not actually work right. So we want to like have the game at least try to function. All right, so uh, factions. Who are we not hostile with? Okay, the, the Empire, of course. Uh, Waster Pirates, those pirates. The Blue Moon Corporation, which is added by a mod. And there are only humans. Those are Impids. These are Neanderthals. Uh, the Grey Mule Br Branya. Or base liners. These are all pig skinners. Oink oinks. Uh, these folks are oh, a bit of everything actually. Okay. So we want to be near purple or yellow. Or the Empire. So let's find somewhere that has like purple and maybe some like purple and or yellow. Hello Necky. Hello, we're about to start playing some RimWorld. I'm on the map trying to pick our uh, crash landing site. Or at least, in our case, since we're going to be tribal folks, uh, where we just kind of appear. And we only, we looked at our factions and the purple folks, and I think the yellow ones are the ones that are um, neutral. So being near some of them wouldn't be the worst idea. We also want to be kind of on a mountain tile because that generates more uh, stuff like rocks that you can use for construction. me get some anyway hmm maybe hmm that seems like an all right spot just somewhere in there but we gotta you don't want to be like in the middle of a bunch of mountains because you have to, like if you're gonna travel along the world you have to pass through all these mountains and they can be uh, time consuming to say the least hmm Yellow and purples, kind of. Really, we also want to be kind of like in this uh, lightish green because that's temperate forest, which is a pretty safe biome to live in. Uh, let's over oh, here. Yeah, lots of desert. Hmm, this could be a decent spot too. Uh, 
just because there's a lot of the Empire folks nearby. Um, hmm. Yeah, if you go too far north, you start getting into like the boreal forest where it gets really cold pretty often. I tend to be really picky about where I start out at, but this place might not be too bad. It's not the end of the world if you're not near a road, but being near a road, like these roads give you uh, a movement bonus on the map to where you take less time and less like food to travel. Um... Year round or bust. I like having like a mix of uh, I like having it to where it's not all completely year round for growing, just because it seems too easy. I don't know. It seems like a little too easy where you can just have food all the time and not have to prepare or do anything. Um, uh, I kind of want to be over here, but there's. Let's see what we have here. What terrain? We've got slate and limestone, not ideal. We've got slate and limestone. Slate, marble, limestone. I want granite. Granite, sandstone, and slate. Hmm. I mean, that's technically all right. The, ri the river on the tile would be cool, too, because you can use um, the river for power. Uh, let's see. Granite and marble. Honestly, that would be ideal. There's a river. There's a dirt path. We got granite and marble. Growing, growing periods year round, I guess. Hmm. What about up here? We have an, uh, an ally that's kind of close. Not don't not the dual river and road though. Hmm. If I if I don't pick somewhere, I'm gonna be doing this for like 30 minutes. So let's figure somewhere out. How about how about up here? Marble and granite? Okay, we're picking here, because it's kind of close to an ally to trade with. There's some enemies nearby. I only know I know, only know only what I know, because I've just, like, played this game a few times, quite a bit, and just fought with it, you know, etc, etc. It's basically a story generator... Although it's 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 a game, but it's more of a story generator than like an, a game. But there's like game systems. It's just it's primarily a story generator. Anyway, we're gonna pick this spot. It's gonna have lots of lots of mountains to dig stuff out of. All right, next. What should your starting colonists believe? These beliefs affect gameplay and visuals. You be able to recruit others to your beliefs or take on their beliefs. Hmm. You, there's there's religion in this game with some, with the the ideology DLC, and you can make it very specific. <laughs> Naked man eaters, mole people, tree worshippers, blindness cult, feral people, blood worshippers with the sanguine phages, cowboys. Martyrs, feminine ravagers, nudist recruiters, dark humans. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna go with classic like, just because it's kind of sim. It's it's not complicated. Cause you can make this shit real complicated. We're gonna just kind of go with uh, classic like. All right, now this part of. It has these three people, but I kind of want to see if we can get someone that's not just human. As our little folks here. So it's. Uh... I want to randomize a few times, see if it'll let us pick someone that's not. And we have the uh, prepare carefully mod that will that could let us just do that. But I'm just kind of seeing what the game wants to give me. Hmm. The game looks like the game just wants to give us a base liner, which is just, uh, which is human. There's also, like, genetics in this game now, too, with this DLC, new DLC. It's, it's, a, it's a lot. Uh, what am I even looking at? 
I'm not looking at that right now. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Well, <laughs> they have a, this person has an ex-wife <laughs> and a lot of uh, things. They're ace though. That's cool. Hmm. C incapable of caring. Y you probably don't want someone that's incapable of caring. Like there, there's so many. So many red flags when it comes to, uh... That being said, this person is a, probably a very good character. <laughs> Incapable of caring, yo, same. <laughs> I was gonna make that joke, but I, I actually care a lot about people. Probably too much. I don't want to like go ahead. I don't want to like just make people that are really good, like have perfect stuff. But I suppose that's kind of what I'm searching out for anyway. I might as well just not stop wasting time and just manually uh, pick things. Like you don't need to be 14 fucking years old. Oh, did you get taller? Oh, let's see. When they they actually get to an adult, oh, nice skull, right? That's a pretty sweet skull. Mm, they can be 21, sure. Um, uh, body modder, nudist is bad. I don't want any scars either. That's just waste your time. I want, to, I want, you're a huntsman with, well, I mean, your thing is, oh, is that your name? Is your name huntsman? Your name is just huntsman. All right. Well, I guess shooting makes sense then. All right, sure. I guess you're fine. Uh, why is your thing called plank cutter? Oh, that's your job. You just don't have one because weird childhood stuff, I guess. Hmm. All right, cool. Um, I guess these people all just have skulls. I don't know if that's part of their part of the ideology that it gave us. It probably is, honestly. Because that's one thing that you can have is have, like, designated, like, uniform... Not, I don't want to say uniforms, but, like, essentially, like, uniforms. Okay, we don't need you to have artistic as well. Perhaps you should be... No, you should probably be medical. Thick. Uh, we'll give you a little flame and shooting, even though it's zero, because... That just seems like a smart thing to do. I'm not trying to make these characters super overpowered, but they also need to be, like, at least usable, you know? Um, and one of these is going to need intellectual. So, you've already got, like, five little flame things. We don't need that. We'll give each person two big ones and two little ones. Like, you already got that. Which means you can have a flame and whatever I want, which... Hmm. Construction. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. You're bisexual. You have smoke leaf tolerance and dependence. We're not going to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. That's silly. You're 51 years old. That's fine, whatever. Uh, you're like the elder of the group. Well, you're 21, you're 30, you're 51. Great. Um, let's bump your melee down a little, bump your shooting up a little, just kind of keep it a little more balanced. Yeah, you want someone that's good at cooking too. Shit, that means I may need to, to move some stuff around. Yeah, I say we not do that. And we'd have you cook as well. And we'll shift a point around or two. 
This is a mod, by the way. This is how I'm doing this. I norm normally, you can't just do this, but I figure if I'm just going to be looking for characters anyway, I might as well just stop, like, not waste time. Okay, we're going to not have you have that. The character just had some fucking marijuana on them, basically. Oh, no, I don't want to go back. All right, so we've got you, you, and you. Post holism. Oh, and I can read like the the, the generated lore for this. Borabrin spoke to holiests in the dream, guiding each to travel to the dim volcano world Nucidus, where the unique gifts would shine. Then the lava lord came. His Stygian soldiers killed many worshippers of Borabrin with harpoon <laughs> rifles. Tox do it's Trenna encountered a hidden lake which spoke in Borobrin's voice about self. Tox Dumyamb sacrificed herself to personally kill the Lava Lord. <laughs> what that has to do with anything? I don't know, but... Let's see. Interesting. They don't like insect meat. They don't care who they bonk. They're, 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 hmm. Their relics are a heavy machine gun, a baton, a bolt action rifle, and a crossbow. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I did kind of do hands off with the whole ide ideology thing. So we're just going to have to deal with what we got, but let's get started. And I don't want to spend like another 20 minutes on this shit. Confirm that you're ready. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see how badly I get owned. Oh, sweet. Neat. The gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey with no friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness like your ancestors did. Here we are. Ooh. A little zippier than I remember. Let's take a... Let's take a... a sure. Anyway, uh, let's take a survey of the area. Got some aminals. Um, we got some plants. It is aprame, which is spring, which means we got some seasons to build up some food, which we will be doing. Let's take let's take a look at some other stuff around the map. Like we got some of. I want to kind of see where these on the map are. We got seven of these geysers on the map. Of these uh, steam geysers, which are very good sources of power once you can get them harnessed and get the tech to do so. Well, that one's all the way down there. There's two fairly close there. There's one there. There's one there. These two, it's probably our best interest to make a base somewhere in this area so that we can harness both of these for power when the time comes. And it's kind of near the middle of this big ass map anyway, so. Kind of works out. Alrighty. In that case, we need to kind of. What do we have here? I feel like this is just like trash. Barrel from long range cannon for artillery or anti ship use. When it was new, it must have been frighteningly powerful. Now it's far from far beyond repair, and every useful component has been looted. Yeah, these are just, just trash. See, is this mud or okay that's mud uh, we can turn on there's a little button on here called fertility overlay that will show us where all the fertile soil is 
I usually like setting up my base near one of these fertile soil patches because it lets you grow food like 40% faster. Because you see the fertility there is uh, 140%. That means anything planted there grows 140% faster compared to normal, which is just more food. We could set up the base here. I mean, there's some fertile soil there. That would make sense. I was just talking about how I wanted to, and I just can, you know? So let's see. Let's go to orders. Remove paint. What? Huh. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Cut plants. We'll cut plants, like, in this kind of area. Okay, I need to set up jobs though, because if I don't, like, do jobs, they'll just start running around doing stupid shit all on their own. Uh, no one of you is good at plants, it's probably you. You, you do plant things, um... Oh, I'm a fool. I, per I, I took this person's uh, thing, one of their passions, burning passions, is instruction, but then I just, like, didn't raise the skill. Oh, well. Guess we'll just, we're just gonna have to deal with that for a while while they have low skill. That's not a problem. We can, uh, figure that out. Uh, you can be the miner, I guess. So, let's, we gotta also cut some trees so we can actually build a shelter. All right, all right, little critters. Let's get to work. Oh yeah, we don't have any weapons either, so we're gonna have to like make some bows and shit. We're probably gonna utilize part of this as part of our shelter initially. Because we can use this like granite floor or this uh, marble floor as cook surface and such. So on that note, let's get a zone made for stockpiling things. For now, we'll put it like, I don't know, like right here. And go to our storage, allow rotten, which means um, things like corpses won't come here. And Don't want chunks, no corpses, plants. Let's... I mean, I guess those can go there, because, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, baby food. Oh, yeah, there's babies in this now. Oh, we do have somebody that's good at mining, so might as well get them something to do other than clean dirt outside. Seems a little silly. Guess we should also start building something. Uh, yeah, we'll have like this is like the temporary little shit kitchen. So we'll probably do something like this. Uh trying to remember all the specific shit you do for this game. Have that. So we're gonna want a table so that these bastards can sit down and not scream because they don't have a place to eat. Because they, they will do that. They will 100% do that. Okay. Um, I suppose I could put like a bedroom over here. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be fancy. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be rough because we, we're just kind of. I'm kind of. I'm not planning anything. We're just kind of roughing it a little bit. The only thing I've planned is that we're gonna plant stuff here, and we're gonna stay near these two so we can make use that as power eventually. Because it's just a very reliable power source. Okay, 
Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have like a dining room over here. And we'll also keep all the food here. I guess. Which might which eventually is probably gonna not be enough space, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. Yeah, this is kind of an awkward position to be in. So I might have to just kind of... I might have to build our bedrooms off this way, actually. Or at least one of them. Yeah, we'll build one bedroom here. And we'll have to build the others... Out... Out this way. And we're going to build it all out of wood because I've got nothing else right now. <laughs> well, I can't remember who's the construction person. Um, it is you. You're just kind of walking around. That's fine. Start, start constructing. Oh, your planet skill is actually really high. You're just, you're just mining away there, Huntsman. Good on you. And you're taking like 10 years to cut this tree down. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this tree. Uh, let's. Let's, we're gonna, that's not really cheating, but we're gonna, um, commandeer. We're, not, we're, we're gonna just get some skill points. Oh, sandstone wall's perfect. We're gonna dem demolish all these. Uh, let's see, where's our, uh, orders? Deconstruct. You, 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 you. Mm, what are these? Slate? Sarcophagi? Uh, we'll keep those in case we actually need them, because we can just kind of yoink them. But yeah, we want uh, you to... Um, after this stuff is all built up at the very least. What did you just do? Don't compare a lemur to a salmon, that's rude! <laughs> uh oh, what? There's this bobcat just hanging out in our fucking air general area. I don't, not a big fan of that. Wait, what? Are you, why are you building? Oh, your construction skills four. Well, that's good. We can at least get this. But now I need you to not. How about? Okay, I'm gonna have to take them off of construction. I didn't think they were on it. All right, so you're and you're just wandering around. Not great. Um, we need to get some food, which means berries. I know they're I know they're around here. It's just a matter of seeing. There we are. Harvest. I need to give you some more mining to do because you're just kind of wandering around. Not super conducive to being helpful. You are now going to be getting the berries, or trying to rather. <laughs> well, after you're done cloud watching, get the berries, please. Oh, you're also just kind of cloud watching. Yeah, I, I kind of underestimated that we're going to need food, like, immediately. Uh, 
Looks like Lemur's gonna help herself to some berries. Looks like you're gonna do the same. They're gonna be unhappy because they ate raw food and also that it's, uh, we don't have a table for them yet. No. <laughs> I need to find more berries for you to pick. Uh, this is going horribly. I need to, there's so much to do that I just haven't been doing. Let's find you some, let's find you some more berries, friendo. Get them, go get them berries. Lemur, I'm gonna need you to not do what I told you to do previously. Oh, this is going poorly. <laughs> I got a little carried away. I was just kind of sitting around. I forgot you just can't really just do that. You kind of have to. Oh, that's right. We don't have the research yet to do wood beds, so we're we're gonna have to sleep on the ground. Mmm, I love that. I I love sleeping on the ground. Um. Uh, This is your room, Lemur. Enjoy. This is a uh, this is your room, Huntsman. <laughs> there you go, Labar. It's, it's it's a little rustic. I mean, you get to sleep under the stars, but you're probably not gonna be very happy. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I also need to get the table made. I was joking about. Oh, we might not have any of that stuff unlocked as tribals. Well. Guess we'll get one of these. And uh, some stools. And Lemur can work on that whenever she gets up. This water? No, it's not water. What am, I, what am I saying? That's water. We might be able to fish. It's also water. Don't know why I thought that was water. Brain don't work. <laughs> uh, for now, we might have to just kind of grab more berries. I'll do select similar and do this across the entire map. And that'll show us where all the berries on the map are. And compared to where we are, it was theirs we already got. There's one there, one there. So scattering of some, but there's some a few more up here. So more berries. And after you do that, we're going to have to have, I think Olabar is the farmer. Yep, Olabar is going to start planting some, 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 uh, some rice probably because that's the fastest thing to grow. Hmm. So, growing zone. Off. Let's pick our let's pick our poison. It's probably gonna be rice. This rice just grows very fast. Yep, rice it is.
Oh, you you are you are bringing the berries back. I was like, wait, did you just like, where did we get marijuana from? <laughs> did somebody have some on them? Even though I checked, maybe. Little bastards, <laughs> just smuggling in the the Mary Jane. As her construction gets higher, she'll stop breaking shit. We're gonna need a door here because that'll be a separate room in this little spot. Frank, we're gonna just expand this zone because. Uh, this, this bobcat's not eaten, so hopefully it'll go bother something else other than us. When it is hungry. Like, maybe that raccoon. What are you do- Have you been just hauling sandstone everywhere? Probably. Uh, let's- These are our roofs here, so- you're just gonna be mining for a while, bud, because that's kind of like your thing other than killing things or people or whatever. Whatever to do this, because it's a good way to grind up her construction, which is gonna be important so we can build defenses. here an anima tree huh ah so it's actually deleting this structure here is gonna make this anima tree uh, do better once it's fully grown because then we can do uh, silent stuff and have side casters and psychic powers and all that so we might have to confiscate those pieces there at some point There's a bunch of goodies all over the map is that a car an ancient car. <laughs> There's a bunch of components in the walls here. That's pretty nice, actually. We will wait until we absolutely need them to get those, because components are a little scarce. The superior predator, the red fox. That being said, we can um, make use of that ourselves. At some point. So Lemur's still. Lemur's almost done with that, actually. Oh, Lemur's almost. Uh, is your max learning thing is. Okay, I need you to stop doing that. Cause you're just kind you're just kind of wasting XP. So how about how about you um not do that? Go get that berry bush. For now, we're kind of struggling with the whole food deal. Uh, how do you haul those and then you eat them when we're at home? He's always going to eat out in the, in the wilderness and, not, and be unhappy because he ate without the table. You're very hungry. I need to go see if there's another berry bush around here I could um, 
persuade to give me its fruits. There's quite a few. How about you harvest these? Construction, aminals. At some point, if they survive, we do want to tame at least a breeding pair of these uh, alpacas. Because they give you wool, they can give you wool, which is nice, and then the babies you can sell the babies or use them for livestock. You know what? You know things that you do with animals. I kind of want to move this room up here, or maybe I could move it down here. In part because I want to turn this into a storeroom. I also give Lemur something to do because she's kind of sitting there staring at the wall. Okay, and then Olabar gets this. All right. Okay, so they've got rooms. They still don't have good beds. Someone just has a joint. Someone's probably been smoking that shit. Which one of yous was it? Which one of yous was it? <laughs> it was it was Huntsman. Just, after a long day of mining, he just started to smoke some weed. Bless, blessed be. All right, what are you up to, Lamer? Oh, you're gonna go haul the berries that this clown didn't bring back. That's fine. How about you haul them since you were gonna go out there just to get berries? You fool. You call them and they probably eat some. Uh, slight malnutrition was starting to set in because that hit zero, but then he immediately fixed it. Good on you, Huntsman. You're awake already? Or are you just that hungry? Probably just that hungry. Oh, you gorge yourself in all the berries. <laughs> Jesus. I want to see how this uh, fishing zone stuff works. Because this is another mod I have called like a uh, vanilla expanded like fishing or whatever. And it adds, well, fishing. Uh, choose catch. Choose preferred fish size to catch from those inhabiting this biome. Smaller fish take less time but are less nutritive. While larger fish take longer and are more nutritive. Medium fish are balanced between the two extremes. There's always a chance of catching some different fish or special items. Um, I don't even know what fish would live here. This zone is too small. Fishing zones need to be at least 25 tiles to be valid. Alright, so this fish zone is set to catch fish size. Um... We probably need a small fish because we just, um, I mean, we'll see. Uh, uh, eventually we'll have this anyway, so it won't be that big of a deal, but. My face is a, you. <laughs> How you doing, Ash? Good to see you. We got a bunch of people just eating berries, wearing like deer skull masks in the foot in the in the woods. Any defenses? Oh yeah. That's partially why I've been having uh 
having Lemur uh, grind up her construction as high as possible because to craft uh, said base defenses, you need three construction, and I think she has that now. She's almost got four. Yeah. Okay, so. We do need to start kind of planning how we're going to do that. At some point, this room is going to be going to move because it's kind of in a shit location, honestly, because how I like to do defenses is I have like an, I have this here and I have this way for us to get in and out. And then I have like a hallway of just like traps that they have to walk through to get to us. So eventually we're gonna have another door, another door here, and then we'll have like a wall there. I believe a trap there, and a trap there. Something like this, where like I'll just set the little frames of what everything is eventually going to look like, because then we'll have. I could stagger it out a little bit and have the traps start like that. Three traps should be enough to stop most anything that's coming at us in the early game. So we're gonna... These, these uh, doors that are gonna be here are gonna be so that we can... Um, access and fix the traps without having to walk over them let's also build, make the corridor a little longer we're gonna move this room over by one so that this wall can be well a wall <laughs> but olabar is sleeping <laughs> because of fucking course let's not do that one yet Oh, hey, the lynx is uh, eating this body here that, instead of us, fine by me. You just keep on keeping on there, a little scraggly. We don't really have any, any weapons yet. Granted, I chose to kind of do that, to start without any, like, you smoking a joint. <laughs> Good for you. It takes a lot of talent to smoke a joint through a deer skull mask. But, you know. She she manages. Okay. You're awake, so we're gonna... Have you do this. Get that out of the way. You're gonna go harvest this berry bush. And just... Stop eating them on the spot, you bastard. Take them home. Eat them at the table, otherwise you're going to be upset. <laughs> Which one of you is? Oh, you. Well. well let's go work here, because... Fish is dictated by animals. So we'll set that, and when she's not constructing something, I'll have her uh, fish. Just laying out in the field. Yeah, we're waiting for this rice to grow, and when that does, the food situation will probably be solved because rice grows fast. You plant enough, you can just kind of sustain yourselves pretty easily. But our other problem is well, we're getting this for defense, but we don't have any weapons yet, so we can't hunt safely. Okay. 
We need to build build this shit, and then we're gonna start moving stuff over. Uh, B, B, B. Start moving this over because this room needs to move over by just a little bit. Let's uh, build that. Destroy that. This is uh, Olabar's sleeping spot because we don't have beds yet because we're still in the. We're still, we don't have done any research yet. We don't know how to do beds. Okay, so that's been moved over. This is a moderately a adequate <laughs> fishing solution. I don't like how far away this fish is, but our options are a little low on. <laughs> Dude, just lighten up. <laughs> I'm gonna take a big drink. So you're talking about these little goobers for almost an hour now. All right, what you fishing, huh? Oh boy, starvation, my favorite. Um, Got any other berries on the map? I'm sure we do. Hmm. This race our animal skill? Huh. It sure does. Alright. She's currently starving a little bit. Hey, it's better than nothing. You're just gonna eat this eel? Um. I mean, that's probably not much worse than any other food. Just eat the eel raw. Mmm, raw eels. Oh, you're not starving anymore. <laughs> this asshole not pick up the berries I told him to pick. Or did he just not pick them? I don't even know anymore. He probably just went to bed. Fine. <laughs> it's it, it's it's gonna be a little rough till the rice is done. When we're gonna have to just suck it up and uh, make a uh, use this to make like a shitty bow, some some kind. <clears throat> hmm, there's actually quite a bit of a whip, huh? Can be used on people. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What can we make this out of? 40 wood? Minimum skills craft 5? We don't got that. I'm almost certain we don't have that. Short bow. Crafting 2. Does anyone have crafting 2? Crafting. You actually do. You have 4. Okay. Well, it looks like you're going to be the crafter then. Huntsman, because that's kind of kind of needs something to do anyway when you're not mining. So you you've just been promoted to a bow crafter. Hmm. 
Oh, we out of wood? Well, let's fix that. We've, we've got somebody that's very good at the whole plants thing. All right, wakey, wakey. En enough, enough of this nonsense. We, we've got, we got some, we got a bow to make so we can have huntsmen. Well, be a huntsman. It's probably gonna be the least impressive bow on record. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, you're doing what I wanted you to do earlier. Stop eating the fucking berries. I know you're hungry, but please don't eat them. You know what? Screw eat eat the damn berries. I changed my mind. Eat the damn berries. Haul these ones back for Huntsman so he doesn't have to leave because he's well he was busy. Oh, you made a bow. You actually, actually not even that bad of a bow. I was expecting it to be like poor, but no, that's it's passable quality. All right, hunting time. What we got? Oh, there's some alpacas, some ibis rams. Was, I think this is a attack back um, chance. Well, we got some tor got some torkeys. Got some rats, some squirrels. We got a mare and the stallions. Uh, what is this? Oh, I have megafauna, so I think this is probably. It's a fucking dinosaur! Longest thing giant reptile is brought back to life as part of the megafauna project. This terrestrial crocodile possesses long legs, which render it much better of a runner than its modern equivalents. Quincana's teeth are shaped like knives, which make them perfect for practically. Cutting away parts of its prey. Sweet. Yeah, that's one of my favorite mods is uh, Megafauna. Oh my god. It's a big ass centipede. <laughs> the largest known land invertebrate of all time. Arthropleurus are huge, solitary herbivor herbivorous millipedes that are mostly harmless and will attack only in self-defense. Some maniacs are willing to pay unreasonable amounts of money for eggs of this beast. Huh. I mean, it's cool. I was afraid it was going to be like carnivorous and try to eat us because that's terrifying <laughs> but anyway uh we're probably gonna have to pick off a few of these um an alpaca or two or maybe one of the just like one mare i feel bad for it but i kind of have to at this point Who has who has cooking? I need to see who has the cooking skill. Looks like it is huntsman. Who would be the one that's actually doing the hunting as well? So I guess that makes sense. In that case, uh, production a butchering table. Let's get one of those created. For now, I'm just gonna put it here. No, I, ch I changed my idea of where it's going to go. It's going to go... There. And we'll move it later. You're just fucking... <laughs> uh, any other plants I can... Grab. Any more berries? Berries! Berries and cream! Berries and cream! Uh, I had repressed that. Um. <laughs> Alright, harvest. Harvest. Go. Go. Oh, there's also one here. You know what? Just harvest, whatever. It'd be, I'd be doing a lot better if I was actually cooking this, this shit. Uh, 
But I ain't gotten to that yet. <clears throat> All right. So this mare is unfortunately going to be our, our target. Lemur, what are you, you're fishing? Can you, um, do the, oh, I'm making ah, no fucking wood. Oh, oh, uh, God, everyone's doing everything at just the wrong times. You know what, it's, it's fine. I have to, I have to kill the mare in the first place anyway, so. All right, which one, which one he is, was it? It's you. All right, well. You have a shooting of five, which is probably good enough. Oh, that thing's just running away. Did we hit anything? I mean, you kind of shot it in the body, I guess. Uh, horse girls in the chat might want to look away. <laughs> <laughs> How did you miss that? It's literally standing still. Oh, there you go. There's a hit. Honestly, shoot, shooting at it and making it run closer to the base, that's genius. I didn't even come up with that idea. It just kind of happened. I'll just slowly but surely waddle after it and wow that was a hell of a shot honestly surprised to hit okay you will you're not in any even any immediate danger i swear olabar i swear if there's just berries laying all over the ground i'm gonna be upset with you no okay in that case, I need you to just cut like half of the forest. <laughs> like almost literally just, just, I need wood, bad. Oh right, yeah, let's just crank this back up. Just, yeah. Oh, you're a night owl. No wonder you're not in a great mood. It's a sleepy time for you. Um, uh, night owl. She gets a mood boost if awake at night. And mood loss if awake during the day. So, 18 hours. So, uh, 19 hours is when I ha should have you wake up. So, All right, well. Visitors. I've got, I got nothing. I don't know what you're even doing. Huh. Interesting. Eastern Veristan. Childhood. Killer. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Hakuja was a bloodlusting child. <laughs> Villagers thought her the product of a snake demon and human coupling. After watching how her, her human father betrayed and murdered her mother, she no longer she longed to see how many more humans she could get to fall into her hands. 
God damn. Alright, um, I guess welcome to our little, our little shack in the middle of the woods. Uh, where's that mare? Is that mare dead somewhere? I see blood all over the place. But I don't see the mare. I kind of forgot that's what I was doing. Oh, no, there you are. There you are. How you doing there? Oh, you're just kind of sitting around. You don't have a very long memory there, horsey. Okay. Well. Yep. Oh, you're actually building the thing we're going to need in like two seconds? That's very good of you. Alright, let's get this campfire put together. And then we'll have Huntsman try to make some food after the butchering can happen. What are you... I mean, we probably do want to butcher that too. Dead, fresh, spoils nine hours. You know what, sure, we'll, bu we'll butcher that as well. It's not exactly what I was aiming for, but. Sure. Okay, I need to turn that fishing thing off because she's just going to run off and fish when I need her actually, like... Uh, no, that's made and that's made. Honestly, I don't know if there's much else that needs done. Right, let's check your look in here. It's not beauty, Andy. I think it was room stats. Yeah, room stats. If this cleanliness gets above zero, there's a, high, there's a chance for food poisoning, but... You have to keep your air area clean when you're cooking. Let's see. Free fair enough. Summer, oh, it's already summertime. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going to have to expand this growing zone next season. Then again, this might not just be a lot of rice. I don't know, but yeah, it's it's, it's already summer. It's already summer. You know, we're we're gonna have to have you drop these on the ground, buddy, because you're just gonna like you're just gonna like freaking carry them all to the ends of the earth. Okay, how about you eat that one? Oh, hello. You're gonna come and eat at our little table. That's cool. Where are? Oh yeah, she's still fishing. <laughs> Okay, it's still clean in here. Hana called Hakucha Mongoose. Oh, there's another person here. They they weren't just by themselves. I was like, who's who's Hana? The answer is I guess their traveling companion. Oh, 
Oh, level four cooking. Congratulations. Shooey, yeah, we're gonna have to um reorganize things a little bit. Like I might move the beds up here. The, oh. I gotta get these bedrooms somewhere that makes sense. I could have another one there. Kind of cutting into where I wanted the storeroom to go, but I need to make I need to clear out some space so I can store food and also make a research room. It's just a lot. And I'm getting distracted by like what is this fucker doing? What's this fucker doing? There's th three people's already plenty to control. <laughs> Uh, what, where? All right, so we're gonna just, uh, hmm. We're gonna have a zone in here just for food. Cause had a heart had a heart for felt conversation about morality. Huh, alright. It's very dirty in there now, as you can see. So we need to uh, haul these and try to figure out where the dirt is. It might be in this little room here. Let's. Yeah, cooking stuff in like this like small of an area with like people constantly walking by can be very uh, challenging to. If we do this, we can kind of. Oh, ro romance. Oh, all right. There's the dirt. Now it's clean in there. We can um, continue cooking. Okay, you're getting us some more wood, which is going to be desperately needed. All right, let's turn that off for now. And that too. say as I need it back on to kind of make sure this room stays clean enough to cook in safely. Dude, just wrecking the forest. What is going on? Oh. 
It's like the hunter has become the hunted. Earlier I saw that red fox uh, kill a uh, raccoon, and now the lynx is the lynx has just killed the red fox, which put up a bit of a fight at least. It bit off its tail. Holy shit! Just let Ulibar here just uh, haul the stuff around. So it looks like we'll be here for a while. Lemur thinks you should give your faction a name. Um, I hadn't really thought about that. Uh, there's not a creek, so Red Creek Treaty sounds a little packed to the cove. Uh, Marullo Union. Confederate uh, anything with Confederacy makes me kind of squint, so let's maybe not do that. Um, hmm. The purple octopus croca. I don't know what that even means. Cataspia. Yeah, it has cat in it. That's good enough for me. Lemur has awoken. Uh, I need to figure out this bedroom situation. Yeah, eventually we'll have like a like a fridge over here, but for now we're gonna have to just figure out what where to put everything. For now, we'll do this and we'll, uh... Oh, level 5 construction. Nice. That will be Lemur's new bedroom. have that kind of extend there for now um yeah cool <laughs> we're gonna need to build a room at some point out of this situation If I'm not mistaken, it's like six six roofs away from a wall is supportable. So if we do one, two, three, four, if we do like wall there, two, three, four, five, that's the center point. So one, two, three, four, five, so three, four, five. Something like this, and then one, two, three, four, five. Probably end up covering this little spot up just so we can have the wall there for the storeroom, but that's probably going to be our storeroom. That way they won't like run outside and around and just go get shit. All right, Lemur, get to work. You got you got shit to do.
This is a lot of EXP for Lemur as well. Right, where was that? Where'd they put that campfire? That needs to like, go over here. And the stock in the stockpile, I need to um, not allow them to put it somewhere. All right, Huntsman, what you up to? Cleaning blood? Uh, good for you. Uh, I need you to do something else. <laughs> need you to cook this meal oh fuck are you serious right now they're going on a that's cute but like come on now <laughs> great well I guess they're I guess they're a fucking couple now Jesus Christ well <laughs> Sorry, Olabar, I think you're getting moved to a different room. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a, what, a, what a joke. I was like, hey, dude, need to make some food. And he's like, okay. And then Lemur's like, hey, you want to go on a date? He's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> they just left. Just like that. And they're like, oh, all right. I see how it is. Uh, spiting me at every turn, huh, game? Let's see, X and X. Well, after your date, I'm gonna need you to do this stuff. After you have your have your fun, happy fun times of having frolicking in the forest. I think they're done with their date. One of those may have gotten just gotten food poisoning. So one, someone might have a bad time. <laughs> very very soon. I mostly just wanted to get this uh, meat used up because it spoils pretty soon, and that would be a gross waste of resources to let it just kind of spoil. From this, I need to expand this zone out now, and we need to go to it's a campfire, right? Uh, buildings, temperature of misc, maybe. Hmm. Special? No. Temperature? I thought temperature. Recreation? Where in the hell is this campfire at? Uh, furniture? Seriously, where? Where? Does it not let me not put it? Maybe if they finally found that as kind of an exploit. Because what you can do is you could, uh, with mods, you can uninstall this campfire and it'll keep its current fuel amount. And you can reinstall it whenever you want to, like, cook stuff. So maybe they did something to that. I don't know, but.
Oh yeah, Huntsman is a body of honor who wants like synthetic parts. So he's just kind of frustrated because he's just like, I wish I had some kind of, flesh is so limiting. Oh, mood. Was that necessary, Olabar? He's like, it sure was. Fuck you guys. <laughs> being said the rice is coming in rather nice I guess it's tree stump time wasn't something you had to do on older versions but I guess it is now to get a research bench created for now it's gonna go up here and we'll just kind of build a room around it cuz I can't be bothered to We're currently limited by not having any tech of any kind really research so it's kind of That being said, thanks to that mayor, we're not starving to death anymore. And once we get the rice in, it's going to be pretty nice as well. Oh, did this thing die? Oh, it sure did. Um, well. Waste not, want not. Did you hit like, oh, you're not, you didn't hit six construction. I thought you did, but come on, stop botching the wall. Uh, one thing we can do for fun is, where's, uh, we can move the roof area there. Oh, Lemur's asleep because it's sleepy time. Okay, we're gonna just have you make more food. Because it'll last longer as cooked food cooked meals than as raw food anyway so well after you go for your walk start cooking oh you're, you're, you're done you didn't even go on the walk sometimes you're like eh, I don't feel like the walk oh sounds like lemurs awake <laughs> Well, Lemur's gonna go fishing, huh? Well, that does help su supplement our food, so I can't really be that bothered by it, I guess. I just gotta watch this clean status here like a hawk so I don't get a whole bunch of food poisoned food. How about you to make a few more? Cause obviously I haven't seen that drop below clean once yet, so. Okay. Uh... Cool. Well. 
I had, oh, you got, you got some more fish. You got 16 eels. Nice. Are, are any bastards good at researching? I'm gonna guess no. We're gonna need some stuff though. We're gonna need a nice little stool. Sit on while doing research. I think we need a torch lamp as too, as well as too, as well too. My brain is just skipping steps. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what that sound meant. Uh, psychic soothe. Some distant engine of happiness is stirring. It is projecting a psychic drone onto the site through an orbital amplifier, tuned to only affect males. For a few days, some people's moods will be quite a bit better. Good for them. Good for you, Olibar. Good for you, Huntsman. We'll make their room a little bit bigger. Then we can give them a little double sleeping spot and eventually an actual, uh... Pir How did we catch piranhas in here? Huh, whatever. The w like one piranha we had left decided to rot. Well, such is life. Baby sleeping spot. Not comfortable. Um, actually, that, that reminds me. They can and will, like, try to bonk. <laughs> like, they can and will do that if I don't, like, specify... Hemogen packs can be administered to those to reduce blood loss or to satiate those who feed on blood. Mmm, delicious. Harvest, heart. Uh... Terminate pregnancy. Oh boy. Crops are almost done, which is nice. When is when are we gonna get raided though? It's only a matter of time. Ritual opportunity soon. Bora Bryn's advent. Huh. You're doing great and all. Um, since our immediate food needs are kind of not a problem anymore, let's have you just kind of mine a bunch, because, yeah, we, steel will be nice to have. Research. Let's see. Great bow. Cool.
Stone cutting. Uh, complex clothing. Carpet making. A drug production. Uh, farming techniques. Hmm. It's basic furniture. Complex furniture, which thinks is one and yeah, that's one of the vanilla text. So we need to do basic furniture first. So will Lima start doing that? No, you're gonna go fishing, aren't you? Nope, no, you'll research. Sweet. I'll turn this off because don't need it. Is this? Ah, I think this might be overhead mountain here. No, no, it's not. It's still just rock roof. Rock roof. <laughs> visitors, more visitors. Why they would choose to come here, I don't know. And it's more of these people with the purple masks. Neo-archism. Our universe is a dream in the mind of a timeless universal consciousness. Only architects can communicate directly with the universal consciousness. The architects have no interest in judging us one by one. They wait a single person who can demonstrate our worthiness by acting morally as one. In the future, the architects will finish their moral debate about the, f about the fate of humanity. Those who follow their signs will be admitted to a higher plane of existence, and those who do not will end. Child labor encouraged? Well, shit, all right. <laughs> good, good on ya, I guess. Oh, rice time. I'm gonna have to replay as, in as many spaces as possible. Except for there, because that's gonna be a... Uh... I might also leave out those spots so I can just build the wall down there. Yeah, I think we will. Now, at least for now, we're just planning it gonna be planting as much rice as humanly possible. Cause rice will serve us very well in the coming months. Has a pretty long shelf life. Quite good that we have somebody that's actually really good at planning from the get-go. Okay, you're just hauling steel, which is good. It's good to have a bunch of steel. We're hauling a bunch of rice in. We're probably gonna need to expand this uh, building area to have a have our um, food stored in sooner rather than later. No, oh, you're taking a sleep. Oh, you were taking a sleep. Uh, let's look at our roofs here. Still safe to do stuff with. Still messing up some buildings, but that's fine. Okay, and then these over it's kind of our food situation all right and lemur is oh her she actually had some intellectual already which is good what are you doing uh, how much more of this can we m get away with mining? The significance of these uh, green roofs like this in the rock is that if there is a dark green roof, that means it's overhead mountain, and if you mine that and there's no way other support, it will constantly collapse. But also, um, 
Yeah, um, bugs can spawn under there if you don't if you leave them vacant for long enough, which is not not good. Uh, how about you go see what they got going on before you go to bed? What do you What do y'all have? Medicine, a reinforced barrel, <laughs> and some food. Well, thanks, but no thanks. We're basically just piggybacking off this rock structure until we no longer need it. And before long, we'll start getting the stone cutting as well. We gotta just do the we gotta do the research though. How long are these foods gonna last? Two point six days. Uh, we'll probably get through most of it. Raw meat, perch, and piranha. Mm mm mm. Good old meat treat. Okay, you're just going for a nice little walk. Cool. Okay, that's, that fox went bad before we could cut it up. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's uh, reinstall this one. All right, cool. So there's our storeroom. She's going to sleep because it's morning time and does it still count as daytime if there's an eclipse? I mean, I guess, yeah, but like, Here's the raid. Here's here's that raid I was talking about. Um, a group of Itakin from Colsertro Roar Clan have arrived here. They are attacking immediately. It's a furry with a mustache. All right. So, defensive maneuvers. I need to actually make zones for. Um, Uh, I'm trying to think of where that zone tool oh allowed area okay so uh, let's do manage areas and we'll add one for we'll rename you to like raid defense okay and let's go to this raid defense and we'll have it be all indoor areas because we want our people to be indoors and in, in you know safety. We'll have to change this later when we have you know more different rooms or whatever. But for now, yeah, we're uh, mainly setting this up like so. All right, uh, area raid defense. Area, rig defense, and area, rig defense. Uh, let's be unrestricted. Have you have you haul this since? Oh, you just start, y'all fuckers just stargazing. <laughs> Uh, well, whatever. They're, all, they're laying on top of each other, just stargazing. I have not. I don't think I've seen that before. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right. You are gonna stand out here because you're the only one that has a bow anyway. So we'll have you be the bait. Cause 
this fo this little critter here is trying to like come in to do something. Looks like it says igniting wood stool. Visitors, huh? Oh, they're probably gonna show up and fight them if this guy doesn't like die to our traps first. Yeah, you want you want to have a person that has like easy that they have easy access to. Otherwise, they will b dig through walls and in our case, set things on fire since our walls are made of wood. Well, <laughs> I, I'm I'm glad I built four because we needed all four of them to not get our people hurt. All right. Well, that's the raid. <laughs> that's the raid. <laughs> Lalamau. Ooh, you have this this little this hatchet here it gives a uh, plant work speed bonus. So that is now yours. Enjoy. All right. Well, where is it? Oh. Oh, a loud area. Here we go. Okay, y'all are under. Y'all are unrestricted now. Ah, I need to do. I need to do a uh, drug policies. We're gonna make a new policy. No hard drugs. Which means no, 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 definitely no. Huh, interesting. Lazarus mech injector. Interesting. Uh, well, for now, we'll just turn this off. I don't want them using any. I don't want them using that wake up because that will, that could fuck them up bad. Five point two nutrition. Mmm. Well. I guess we're gonna dig a grave. kind of out of the way. Alright, we can go back to normal speed that we're going. There we go. Bury the person so that the corpse doesn't bother us, because otherwise it, it will. Right, you, you, you're free to do what you need what you want to do more mining I guess oh, hey they're here uh, what do you got you would buy the wake up and give us some money for it we could trade that for some medicine or some beer um, well we don't want that with us anyway probably not wake up fills the users need to rest allowing them to work for extended periods of time 
Not getting tired. Psychasters on wake up gain more psycho focus from meditation than they otherwise would. However, taking wake up risks runs the risk of developing an addiction. In the most competitive universities and companies in many worlds, high achievers are sometimes called wake ups because <laughs> they take too much drugs. If you're looking at a drug like the, uh, the this is a way to kind of see how you can schedule when it's safe to take. In the case of wake up, <laughs> it's never safe to just take it because sometimes you can just get addicted. So yeah, we that's bad news. So we're gonna want to uh, not do that. We'll just take the silver. We'll hold on to it for maybe eventually they'll we'll need silver for something else. I think in the meantime we're gonna go cut some more trees with our old chopper chopper boy. How's our meals doing? It's level six con construction, nice. Which means she now has a 95% success chance when making things, so her consistency will go up dramatically when building. Which can save your life. Okay, it is raining outside. Honestly, I'm tempted to put them both on the same schedule since... Mm. What's this? Oh. Hmm. Self-tending. Hmm. I was almost certain there's some way you could do to like do some way you could do to make them uh not you know like let them have fun without you know like I don't think there's condoms <laughs> I guess you could say <laughs> I was trying to think of the 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 word for like Neolithic people the pullout method question mark I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about I'm just trying to not embarrass myself oh they gave us a gift plasteel huh that's awfully sweet that's awfully nice of them I see there's a there's some uh, overhead mountain there that we will very likely not want to disturb Now what we could do is we can incorporate that into the base somehow. Me like in the way that we could um way we could do that would be um we could just make like what we can do is you can dig the thing out, put a wall there. Oh the eel rotted away, well that's unfortunate. Yeah, you know, we still have these meals that are gonna last for a bit. I kind of wish someone else was uh, was decent at researching. Because she could be catching more fish. But I don't know if fish are available in the winter. I guess we'll see. Hey, Eclipse is done. Transport. 
Raw wheat is from your enemy. Call Citro. What do you have? An animal war call ability. Okay. I mean, gear wise, what do you have? Just cloth stuff. Eh. Eat a kin, descend from colonists, engineered to thrive in ultra cold planets. Their great size and fur makes them hardy in frozen environments. And they have a unique ability to communicate vocally and, phys and psychically with animals. They are not fast or energetic or precise, but they can keep going when others would have collapsed long before. Alright, uh, zero mining. High animals, high crafting. You're not very good at anything else, so I don't think I'd want to rescue you on your uh, on your merits. I mean, you're gay, that's cool, but uh, you're probably just going to die out there. The Fleeing Dame, Opa Masandio, a dame of the Broken Empire, is calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped, but is now being followed by a man-hunting cat. <laughs> Masandio wants you to keep her safe at Catasbia for a few hours until her shuttle can come pick her up. She's, she will bestow eight honor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough honor to receive the royal tile of human and all the benefits that come with it, including the first level of psychic powers. Hmm. Let's hold off on that because I think with the uh, the anima tree, if we finish smolishing this stuff, it might be enough to. Oh, we have to move these, but and once this finishes growing, we can use that to kind of get uh, psychic casters. One person will link to an animal tree. The linker will meditate in front of the animal tree, forming a psychic link. Others gather in a circle to watch and add psychic strength to the ritual. It's basically how you can make psychic casters without the empire's um, include. Oh god, this thing is getting close. Oh, that I feel bad for this raccoon. This big ass crocodile thing is just not much. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Slorp. Is there even a raccoon left? No, it ate the raccoon whole. God damn. Oh, at least it'll be hung. At least it'll be full for a while. Anyway. No, you're hauling steel, okay. Yeah, we, we really gotta get the researching off the ground here, because it's... Granted, it's not great that we, uh... Learn it really slow. But, you do what you gotta do. So right now we just can't really make beds. I don't think we have enough stuff to do um, bed rolls either. No. That's silver. I thought we had some like horse skin or plain leather, which we could use that to make something. I think. Let me see. Forty of that. One. No, it's forty for a bed roll. So we could make like one bed roll, but. I think it would be in our best interest instead to, uh, how's everyone's hunger looking? Okay, I think we just, we either have some meals left or we just went through the last bit of them. Okay. Uh, Olabar has a meal still, so, but we need to make some more. If I had a better weapon, I'd probably just shoot this thing and try to kill it, but it's probably very fast, so I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, there's more horses down here. I 
I mean, we got a lot of meat out of that. It might not be a bad idea just to go do huntsman things. Well, you're the one that's not near in the other ones. Oh, you're the one that got shot? Okay. Cool being. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. Jeez. Okay. Perfect. We have downed it. So what we can do now is we can rescue it. And who is my medical? It's you. We can have you get some medical skill from like Try uh, patching up the horse, and then we can kill it, and then <laughs> get it. Oh, uh, that's that's gamey, but You'll gain some some medical XP. Probably not much, but you, you kind of get that whenever you can, honestly. So having, having a good medic is very important. Oh Jesus Christ! That thing scared the shit out of me. shrink this zone a hair and we're gonna make a new zone specifically for uh, fresh uh, fresh animals clear all close that shit corpses animal corpses only fresh I'm still dumbfounded on where this uh, campfire is. I would assume it's in like buildings. Cause like Yeah, it's a little building. Uh it's furniture No, I don't see campfire there. Power? Surely not, no. Security. No. Temperature? Special? No. 
Hmm. Misk. Christmas tree. Great. Good for you. Up. Oh, where in the hell? Well, I guess we'll just do it this way, because I need to have Huntsman make, like... A few, um... Yeah, I'm have Huntsman make a few meals. Because making meals is a lot more efficient than, um... Eating raw ingredients. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need you to cook some, at least a few meals up now, so that we have some food. So you already have a meal in his gear. You don't need to take that with you. No, bad. Evening gowns, huh? All right. Um, you're getting your recreation up by just hanging out, and now you're gonna go back to researching. Just a, a meteorite has struck the ground in the air and it's left behind. Just some steel, which is good. I mean, we already have a decent amount of steel, but. Yeah, okay. I want an area here for meals. only meals so let's cl clear all foods meals we'll expand that out to like here there we go Sweet. Uh, what else should we be doing? Probably more, probably cutting more wood. More berries would be good too, because once it starts getting colder, the berries will, will disappear and will be unavailable for us to utilize. So we might as well get them while they are uh, available. Okay, Lemur is up and doing more research. Good, good on ya. Yeah. This tree stems get us a bit. Getting awfully close to the Quincana. I 
I really want to build like a little uh, fence around like our farming area. But I want to wait till we have stone to actually do that because it's going to be a more permanent thing. Like we'll be replacing a lot of this with stone when the time comes. Hmm. I might look up real quick. Oh boy, time to go down a rabbit hole. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. The wiki is awful. Oh no. Well, it's presenting the information in the game. Uh, pawns and romantic relationships have a chance to get pregnant when they initiate leaven. Note that pawns must share a two-person bed, bedroll, or sleeping spot at the same time and initiate. Okay. So, there is a way to kind of make it a little less likely so we can give them a bed to, sh to, a bed to share. Oh, it's just a little sperm. Her, her getting that research done is going to be, be great. Oh, wow. There's a lot of... Your intellectual is also too, so I could have you be a backup researcher when there's nothing going on. Nope, stop. That's that's Lemur's. No, she's going to sleep. Never mind. Now let me guess. Now you don't want to. Oh, you need to cook. That's right. You're also the chef. Chef Huntsman with your spooky deer hat. Oh, we need to uh, also... I say that a lot. That's a crutch phrase for me. It's like, we need to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, I, I notice I say that a lot. But we need to cut up this... this horse so that it doesn't go bad. 
We have 104 plain leather. Hmm. We could make a double bedroll, but once Le once Lemur finishes researching just furn simple furniture, we'll be able to make better beds than the ground. <laughs> Let's give Olabar some trees to cut, because he's just kind of sitting around, which is fine, but it would be useful to have more wood anyway, so... Let's give him something to do. Not very many trees there. Alright, cool. It is clean. We just gotta watch to make sure that it doesn't go below zero. Now, oh, mmm, it's eating a rabbit hole. drop it on the floor but he's just kind of putting it like over here for some reason <laughs> that's because it's like a weird meal time furniture let's get them a double sleeping spot lemur and huntsman okay. it's not a glamorous bedroom but it's technically a bedroom and lemur is just up late putting in the hard work Getting the brain strong. Do I have somebody with crafting? I almost am sure that I... Well, you, you just kind of naturally have some crafting. So I could just make a bunch of bows and stuff to get that skill up. To make better stuff, but... Yeah, if I if my next colonist I try to recruit, I'm, one of the things I'll be looking for is a crafting, for sure. I'm not super worried about the campfire taking a little bit of wood to maintain because we've got like six <laughs> the number of the beast <laughs> oh jeez, we, we got some we got some wood we are we are dealing with the wood okay what are these doing I should probably harvest fully grown um of these heel roots while they are um
Yeah, just, uh, just I'll just be keeping uh, Olabar very busy. What does it take to make clubs? I want to kind of compare the work value. Uh, work amount 20 for a club, 40 for, for a bow. So I think making bows is 30 wood, club is 40. So you get more work out of less materials and making bows. So we're gonna at least make two more bows. Hunts, let Huntsman do that. He'll do it eventually. Oh, I keep keep clicking things and then my chat's down and now it's up and. Eleven in plants, three in intellectual. Nice. That level up in intellectual increased the research speed notably. I was wondering what that fucking sound was, and this this thing just disemboweling a freaking ram. I was like, what in the hell is that noise? It it ate a ram whole. That's unsettling. Prioritize this meat first. Let's see, we've got seven, 70 and 75, that's 14, so we need like 14 meals. It'd be better to make that out of this meat than it would be to let the meat go to waste. Clean the dirt. And start the cooking. Level 5 cooking. Nice. I think that will increase his cooking speed. What are you up to? You researching? Of course you are. That's what I told you to do. And you're just you're hauling a mass all like all the stuff everywhere. When you're not asleep, that is. <laughs> Uh, kind of wanted you to do more than that, buddy, because this stuff doesn't have forever to last. So, yeah, you're going to just keep cooking, dude. Nope. Stop. Stop cooking. Clean the dirt. <laughs> yeah, I have, unfortunately, I have to kind of keep close watch, because if it goes below clean, the food poisoning chance goes up significantly. And food poisoning is debilitating. It's not like life ending most of the time. It can be if you're if you're by yourself. Cause like if the pain if like you get hurt and then you get food poisoning, the pain can be so great that your character will just collapse and then you just kind of lay there and die. 
Especially if like something wants to come along and just beat your ass. Okay. Heart eyes, motherfucker. Holiest must have an abbot of Borobrin. Oh, excuse me. Uh, got some lovin'. There you go, bud. Enjoy, I guess. Well, you seem abbotly enough. I guess. I don't know what that. I don't know what the abbot would even entail. You must assign the role of divine chief. Oh boy. Oh, this is. Ah, uh, well, we need stuff. We need stuff we don't have for that, and I'm not worried about it right now. Oh, there was a psychic drone. I forgot. Was there like corpse stink? Uh, yeah. Huntsman, don't go next to the ang the aggressive hungry dinosaur. Please. Well, after you're done with that, haul the berries back, because I guess our our glorious leader Olabar is just not concerned with hauling back berries. I really wish this thing wasn't so close to where we, to our base. Oh, we're getting closer to having that research done, though. That's nice. Oh no, five raw meat has gone bad. I might make bedrooms up. I might make bedrooms here, maybe. Mm, I don't know. I gotta figure out where I'm doing other bedrooms. At some point, I'll probably make this not a bedroom. I might just put the bedrooms up here. Make a hallway here. Like, matter of fact, while we're at it. All of our more to do. We don't, we only have a thousand wood. We, we're, that's rookie numbers. Shaman merchant from the Gray Mule Branya. Where, where are they? Oh, there they are. Well, hopefully our um, little alligator visitor doesn't decide he wants to take a bite out of one of them. That would be bad. Snow white hair and specific skin color, huh? Like white hair and like white skin. Interesting. 
No, well, you're the only one. You're the only one awake, Gleamer. So I'm gonna have to have you uh, go trade with them. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, you would buy this plasteel, which I don't have any use for currently. You're selling a sow. Uh, neutro neutroamine, herbal medicine, glitter tech slicing, herb tech neuro wire fusion amplifier. Enchance the given item with an infusion. Psychic shock lance, very powerful. Basically, you can use it on an enemy and it'll just drop them to the ground, unable to like do much for a while. And you can use that to capture people or um, just disable an attacker. Basic furniture, simple beds, basic tables, stools, benches, and more. All right, what's next? We could we could we could go ahead and do complex furniture, but I think it'd be smarter to get stone cutting so we could start making uh, good walls. Yeah, that's what we're doing next. You're just picking up all the garbage laying around. We have a body of water that's... Is this water? Hmm. Well, let us make a zone there, because if we put bodies in shallow water, they deteriorate much faster. This one, clear all the corpses. Human like, yeah, we, we don't want human corpses. We don't want, yeah, it's, this is gonna have to be specifically just a, uh, human corpses for now because we could get this uh, this guy <clears throat> and take him away to the Guys, see, we're putting them in the water here, up to the uh, degradation, deterioration from one a day to four a day. So eventually, this. Oh. What do we have here? Huh. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Ancient Exo Strider midsection. Contains an ancient mechanoid train. Oh. This is the thing they have the uh, robot controller uh, thing. Let's not bother that for now. That doesn't seem like something we need to worry about. Uh, uh, go back to what you were doing. <laughs>
Um, it is Juggist. It is the ninth of Juggist, and every uh, season is 15 days. Uh, what's the growing season? Growing season is 6th of September. Rice takes, I believe, uh, six days. Yeah, we, we can afford another rice harvest, time-wise. We we'll have to expand this a little bit more. So that free that that area is gonna fill up rather quickly. So we need to give it a little bit more space. Okay, make sure our roof's got all covered. Perfect. All right, back to research with you. And that gives us six more spaces for rice. Yeah, I want Olabar to focus on nothing but planting this rice. Like I said, planting this rice. Planting this rice. Jesus Christ. He's like, I want to go watch clouds. Like, yeah, I know. But, you know, we kind of got to get the seeds in the ground. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, they left us a gift, huh? Your uh uranium, huh? Um, all right. C cool. Oh, looks like we're out of meals again. All right, watch the sunset and then get your ass back to planting. Okay, you do have a meal that you can utilize when the time comes. You do as well, you do as well, so. We don't have to focus on cooking more yet. I already kinda know that was the death alligator. Just, just destroying all of these Ibexes. That's not sewing. That's not. Plant the goddamn field. All right, cool. You're free. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'll go sleep in my little closet. Holiest must have an abbot. Slept in the heat. Frankly, I'm surprised that we haven't had any overheating issues because it is summer. God, I didn't realize just how much wood we had. Uh, let's see. Furniture. Is it extra furniture? Simple beds. We can't make a double simple simple bed, but we can make simple beds. We're getting stone cutting, and then we could start building an actual. No, you have a meal. Eat your fucking meal. <laughs> you shit ass. He's like, I'm gonna eat these berries instead of the the perfectly good meal I literally have in my pocket. The audacity. The fucking audacity of these colonists, I swear. Well, I guess let's, uh... 
see what animals on the map. Or maybe we should just hunt another, uh, another creator. There's bison. They might fight back, but that would be a lot of food. Hmm. Ibex ram. I mean, we might want to get like one, at least one or so of these before um, the, this goddamn thing eats literally all of them. <laughs> I'm not shooting at you, crocodile. Don't you, don't you worry. Ooh, right in the mouth. Why do you have to come over here? I mean, <laughs> it's not a very wise decision, but it's kind of inconvenient. I'm coming for ya. Come on here. Got him. Hauling that to the stockpile. Perfect. Uh oh. I was. It, it's it's bound to happen at some point because um, Huntsman isn't a very good. Isn't the best cook. He does have a uh, food poisoning chance, but at the very least, Olabar is not. The most essential person on the team. I mean, they're all essential, but right now he's just kind of... He got the planting done, so he's just kind of in, like, hauling and cleaning mode. We'll forbid all that so we can make uh, eight meals of the one Ibex we got, which is like probably two days worth of food or so, give or take. Rainy thunderstorm, oh boy. Okay, you are researching the beds. No, you're researching stone stuff. Yeah, you can see the difference. Olabar has slowed the shit down because of the food poisoning. It tends to make it a little less um, ideal to move around. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, someone or someone already did that. I was gonna have someone cut all the plants that are inside here. Uh, misc. Oh, we can get a doormat, which will catch all the dirt. Which might help reduce the amount of dirt that gets in here, because hopefully the doormat will just catch all of it. Oh, bison is mad. That's uh, interesting. Looks like nobody's going outside for a while. That's okay. All of our vomiting in the store in the storeroom. Yeah, we're gonna let this bison uh not in with us because that thing could probably beat the shit out of us or worse. All right. Well, you can assign someone a role in the social tab. You can also. Select a ritual spot or an altar and click begin role change. If these roles remain empty, the following people will be unhappy. I don't know what the, the abbot even is. You managed to actually, like, eat before throwing up again. Good on ya. Good hustle. Yeah, this bison is just pissed off, running around. I won't really be that upset if it ran into all my traps and got hurt and bled out because that'd be a lot of food. Actually, I'm tempted to try that. Because if we give it something to come out, it'll probably run through all the traps. Oh, yeah, here it comes. And let's get you back inside. Oh, we actually killed it. All right, well, I guess that works too. I uh, hadn't planned that, but all right. Consume. Consume the dead haul the bison and then work on the trap a potentially foolhardy decision but we probably won't get punished by it too hard all right let's get this Get these traps up and up and going again. Are you still food poisoned? He's getting over it. You're just like cleaning dirt, so you're probably running out of shit to do. So let's like uh, give you lots to do there. How much wood is that gonna be? Not wood, wood, meat. Ooh, uh, a person living amongst wild animals has wandered into the area. His name's Duin. He's a furry. He's like a Wookiee kind of. Outlaw doctrine. What is that? The prey people can the prey people can teach you things even as they die under your knife. One old lady taught me that animals are our partners in this world, and it's wrong to treat them as any less. I didn't I don't didn't believe it myself until a cow whispered it to me. 
Rude. Which thing? Which thing is rude? Me, the the furry person, or the bison? What? That's a lot of meat. Jeez. <laughs> all right, let's, let's have old boy clean up a bit here. I got the. I have to strictly micromanage this situation here. With the cleanliness of this little room where the campfire is, because if that's dirty and I cook something, it uh, could be uh, food poisoning city. Not a great time. So I'm trying to keep a very close eye on the cleanliness there. She's researching uh, stone cutting so that we can um, make houses, our, our base, out of stone instead of very flammable wood. What are, you, what are you up to? Nothing, and neither are you. Great. Um, I know there's like a, a bajillion tree stumps that I... Um, yeah, there's like a lot of tree stumps there. You're hanging out there. Uh, let's see. Can I mine this stuff? I can mine you, 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 and you. I'll give Huntsman something to do because he he's the the miner of our group. <clears throat> She's a night owl, so she stays up in the late times of the day. Most of the time. <clears throat> Ooh, level four intellectual, nice. That will increase our research speed. I think having a nicer room would, would as well. So I think we're gonna have her make some flooring. I think the cleaner a room is, the better research stuff happens. So have, have we got, we have, we have a few, we have, we have a bit of wood. So I think we can sacrifice some of it for the greater good. There we go. A slightly dirty laboratory. No, it's a nice clean one, which I think makes the uh, research speed just a little faster. It's probably a little easier to focus when you're not just sitting in a pile of shit. <laughs> I would imagine. But. Yep. These two paired up pretty early. Oh, and they're, they're doing stuff. Okay. Look at this big old, big old millipede. It's, it's actually an herbivore. Which is kind of fun.
pretty sure this is the only part of the mountain that's uh, overhead. So when it comes to building our base, we'll have to put a wall there so that it doesn't uh, cause problems. Oh, Lemur's awake. So she can start doing more research. Good on ya. And uh, what are you up to? Cl just cleaning trash? He's just out of stuff to do, too. He's, his normal profession is medical and plants, and, well, the plants are happening, but not super fast. And it's probably in our best interest to get more berries if they are grown on the map. I'll give you something to do as far as you cooking, mining. Hmm. I could just have him mine this out. I might as well gives him something. Gives him something useful to do with the time, and we'll need the steel eventually for things and stuff and things. So L L L L L L L L L L L L L, 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 and L. And that gives Huntsman something to do for quite a while. Now you, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> Probably just have him cut some more trees because, you know, we're, we're very short on wood. <laughs> we're not. But what else am I going to, what else am I going to have him do? Oh, there's, yeah, there's, there's a corpse there. Um... Yeah, I think we'll just have him cut some trees. Let's find, let's go orders, chop, and how about that? Yeah, so now you got some berries to pick and you've got some trees to cut. And you're going on a walk. <laughs> Pick, 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 pick. All right, how's your intellect doing? Eh, it's getting up there. It's slow, but she's gaining skill while researching stuff we we actually need pretty pretty badly. I think eventually this is gonna be like a power room for like batteries and stuff, and we'll have bedrooms up here, and we'll likely. Uh, incorporate this to be like some sort of like rec room and we'll move the lab up a little bit. Aurora Borealis! You get a, you get a mood boost there? That's a pretty... I feel like it's not going to last forever, but. Oh, yeah, she gets to see it now, too. Yep, she's just watching the Aurora Borealis. Okay, we've got. We can make 11 more meals out of the meat, so we need to do that now because it's probably going to go bad soon. Yeah, 10 hours, we don't got time to waste. Been getting a lot of steel there, bud. Good on ya. I need you to cook. Huntsman, it's time to cook. <laughs> he is our chef. Trying to save all this rice for winter, in case there's not any animals for us to bully. Okay. This dude's probably... Oh, he's just hanging out over here. 
He's just eating berries. Alright, cool, whatever. The Aurora is ending. Sweaty, frustrated, awful bedroom, ain't without table. That's your fault. I literally have tables right here. Fortunately for you, bud, he's sleepy, but I've got to have him just keep cooking while this meat is still around, because otherwise it'll go to waste, and then, yeah, it's not good. There he goes. Minor break risk. Yeah, it's because he's sleepy, and he was... His room sucks. His bed sucks. His life kind of sucks. But yeah, that, right, almost right after we finished cooking all that, the, the meat went off, so. There's actually something I can do to make my life a little easier. Uh, we can go to this lavish thing and turn off raw food so that they won't just try to randomly eat rice or berries or whatever. All right. Oh, the rice is done again. That seemed like it grew a little faster than I was expecting it to. Wait, it's... why'd you grow just that one? Pick that just that one. Huh. Um, what are you carrying? Seven, why did you just like pick one of them? Was that specific one grow more than the rest somehow? What? Eh, eh, whatever. Just know this growing zone. I need to turn off, uh, allow sewing. Um. Because, yeah, the, our grow, the growing season ends on uh, the 6th of September, and there's probably not enough time left for another full crop, so we'll just have them not sow anymore. This one rice grows before then, great. That's just extra food I hadn't really planned on, but yeah. I'm... Where are you going? Oh, you're hauling all this steel. Good. Good job. I should actually get a door put in here. I'll make this whole hauling process a lot faster because he can just run over there and run straight through to put stuff in there. And we got some visitors. Eh, we, we, we've come a little bit of ways. We actually have sustainable food and we're getting some skills locked in that we are going to need and she's becoming a good researcher. Just by virtue of these people and their purple masks. Let's see what you have. Let's see what we have. Because I don't really know what we have even. Uh, well, you can buy these two crappy wood short bows we made. Matter of fact, that means I should probably just make a bunch of them for uh, a grenade launcher for 427 bucks. Just a bunch of Neolithic tribes people with a grenade launcher. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Uh, we can sell that and get eight silver, and we can save that up and in... What are you doing? More hauling, huh? How about you just haul the stuff that's a little farther away that's... Kind of just out there. You're doing that. Okay, it's sleepy time for Lemur for a little bit. What does your schedule look like? Why are you asleep right now? 
You should literally be awake right now. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Admittedly, I could make them better beds, which would be better than sleeping on the ground because, like, the rest effectiveness is, uh, 80%, which is, uh, not good. <laughs> it's not comfortable either, but if we have, I think if we have, we can currently make some kind of mediocre beds, like these simple beds. Like if we put one down here, you can, we can look and see. This gets the rest effectiveness up to uh, 97, which is better. Only problem is we can't make double beds of this, but, you know, it's... It's fine. Let's have Lemur work on that real quick before everyone starts to go to bed. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so if you have like a, a sleeping spot and you build a bit over top of it, it'll just inherit the assignment of who previously had it. That's cool. It's not a d technically a double bed, but they can still sleep next to each other and, like, get bonuses for, like... Oh, fine, whatever. They'll just, you'll just have to suffer from the minus four for a little bit until we can get better beds. Disturbed sleep. I was disturbed during sleep. Hmm. Okay. It's nice that they're actually all getting along. Sometimes I have like uh, colonists and they just hate each other for no reason. And then once they hate each other, they start just fighting all the time. And then it's just terrible. Oh, dry thunderstorm. This is actually could be a problem because... There's no rain with the dry thunderstorm, so if it could start massive forest fires. Oh! Oh! Put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Don't joke. God. Extinguish the fire, you asshole! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I guess it was getting a little boring, huh? Game's just like, hmm, I need you to suffer a little bit. <sighs> F eat your damn food! No. No. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll force everyone to be firefighter. Jesus Christ. Heat stone. Oh, it's because you're in... Go outside. Freak. Oh, what? Did you get burnt? Oh, you, you got... Your leg got burnt. Why did you let that happen? This is why you don't want to build out of all our food is on fire. Ah, uh, this game. Why are you sitting there not doing anything about this fire? I mean, admit admittedly, it's like a million degrees in here. I bet. Like, let's let's see. Um. Yeah, it's 881 degrees Celsius in this room. So uh, that. Jesus Christ, this is pain in the ass. No, you, it, it's not safe to go in there right now. What a, what a, what a disaster.
What what is this game? Yeah, it it all that all that food I was boasting about us having for the winter has just got went up in smoke. Every last every single bit of it. Uh, this is why I don't like building out of wood. And we just literally got to the point of almost having this research too. What a fucking sham. Can you extinguish the food, maybe? What's up? We're gonna... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're gonna... What a, what a mess. Uh, <laughs> well, it's a good thing we got another crop about to be done, because, yeah, all that rice in there just went up in smoke. Because a stray thunderbolt struck one of these walls, and then it spread very, you're, you're hurt. All right, we're gonna just turn this back down to three because you're hurt and I think if I don't treat that quick enough, you're, it's gonna scar. Which would probably not be good because it's on her leg, which would make things bad. Like leg scars make you slow and just, you know. I don't think it's a very serious uh, wound. Yeah, I, f I feel like if we didn't do anything for it, it would prob. <sighs> oh, it's a rainy thunderstorm. Just in time. You, whatever. Just. I need you to do something else. Please. Just anything. Like. I'm just annoyed now, because all that food went up in smoke. That was so much food. Granted, it's probably more than enough food. And we probably still get more than enough. We're just gonna have to kill some animals too during uh, fall to supplement our food stores. We've kind of been doing that anyway by just like killing animals so that we didn't touch our rice. But like, yeah, that's really unfortunate. I guess on that note, let's have you go get some. Oh, I don't know what to do right now. That, there's a strike hit there, one hit there, one down there, one somewhere over there, one probably right there, and then one, like, right here. <laughs> uh, you know what, whatever, just beat out fires, I don't care. They're gonna disappear soon anyway, because it's raining now. Uh... How hurt is your leg? Not very hurt at all. Well, we're currently basically defenseless, so unfortunately she might have to just kind of get up and uh, do some... She's going to just get up and work. I feel bad, but... We were literally about to have the, uh, uh, her legs healed up now anyway. We were literally about to have, um, the ability to replace all those walls with stone ones. And at this point I need to replace them with the new wood ones. All right, Lamer, I need you to actually build walls. Instead of repair them. All 
I mean, that's probably more than enough for winter anyway. But that doesn't make me feel any better about losing all of that food. <laughs> and the freak lightning storm. Oh, that'll get her to seven construction at least. Fuck you, game. <laughs> From lighting my dreams up in smoke. <laughs> uh, we're out of food too, so you're gonna have to wake back up and make some. Uh, what a what a joke. Do I have any berries? Could have swore we did. Did somebody eat them? Could have swore I turned that off, but maybe somebody did eat them. I don't know who it would have been, or where they are. Where did those berries go? I have a feeling maybe this wild dude came up and snatched them while we weren't looking, but I, I don't know. All right, we're gonna have to have him make some eight meals out of the uh, the current uh, some of the rice, and then we'll have him hunt some animals. This asshole. That's what you fucking get. <sighs> get out of my house. He ran up and ate one of the meals I was making. I gotta close this door. Yeah, I got fucking dog blood everywhere. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a what how ridiculous. Hey, you usually like to clean, why don't you fucking clean? Clean. Do it. Did you stop your bleeding, weird dog man? Not quite. You kind of gave up, it looks like. You're trying again, I think. Oh, there's, that dude bled a lot. <laughs> there's just blood everywhere. <laughs> it, excuse me? Oh! In that... In that chaos, I, um... In that chaos, I forgot we had, um... Fortunately, I'm gonna have you uh, have to have you um, deal with these two critters. Please don't leave the map before I can get there. You get one, and you get okay. Yeah, in, in that chaos of all the fire happening, I forgot. Rain, Randy's like, "Oh, hey, you know what would be really funny." Passing near the remains of an ancient exostrider mechanoid, Lemur noticed an intact transponder inside. If you could get the transponder, you could read valuable information from it. The massive mech is smashed and fused into a solid piece. You must destroy it to retrieve the transponder. Be careful. The incendiary weapon cells look unstable and likely detonate after you do some damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested in dealing with this right now, but it's like here and it's like available. Well, at least for now, this, this, um, our food situation is going to be solved by, uh, 
our food situation is going to be solved by these two ewes that showed up during the great fire of Juggest like 5500 <laughs> or whatever. Uh, what a mess. Well, we kind of fixed up the mess and whenever we get the chance, we're going to start making granite bricks to make a, an act our base actually not fire, not flammable, not fired. Excuse me, what? We had a ram too? Well, now I feel a little stupid. I should have kept those, but... Well... Sorry, lemur. Need you to wake up and go kill them too. That meal will be fine, unless asshole dog wants to come eat it. He might. No, he's just sitting there. Well, laying there, rather. Bleeding out in eight hours. Well, at the very least, he won't be eating my food anymore. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to... Spoils in 2.3 days. Great. Um, we're going to have to cut all of them up and let's cut up one at a time. No, we're, we're, we don't have that. We don't have that luxury, actually. We might have to make pemmican, which we probably should do that anyway, because pemmican has a very long shelf life. And yeah, we'll do that. I guess I've been playing for I think we have the yeah, we, we have the able to do it. A preserved mash mixture of fat and plant food. Tastes bland, but not offensive. It takes a very long time without refrigeration. You can make a lot of it at once. Baby food. A nutrition vegetable. A bland vegetarian mash. Babies love it, but children and adults will be upset if they're forced to eat it. Well, looks like we're going to be in the pemmican business. Go pretty soon. On that note, we need to see if there's any other berry, any berries that survive the fucking burning of 5,500, because I imagine some of the berry bushes uh, did not survive. This one did. It's got some on it. All right, I'll, get, I'll give Olabar something to do. This is actually going to probably go through a good portion of our rice, but pemmican actually has a really long shelf life, so it's fine. Oh, you got level 6 cooking from that. Uh, that's like 279 meat. That's, that's a lot. All right, so I know Tweedle D here is gonna probably left some ber berries somewhere. You should probably wake up, dude. You're gonna die in your sleep. <laughs> 
Not my problem. About savory foods. Oh boy. Where are you, Olabar? You need to, like, not be there right now. You need to build these walls very quickly. I don't know where this person is. They're down there. We might be able to do it in time. She's like, ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Woo! Okay. They're, they were the only one. Alright. That was very close. If I wouldn't have blocked that off, they would have only got hit by one trap, and we would have been under it. Like, we would have had to fight them off ourselves. But Alright. Uh, crisis averted. Uh, you just you were just sleeping anyway, so. Good job, Lemur. You did it all by yourself, basically. <laughs> Alright, well, you, well, since they're dead and you're not, let's have you just um, take them to the uh, the fun zone over here. Where all the bodies get to go. Fall has begun. Yep, just take that there. Don't think too much about the dead bodies. You only saw one, thankfully. Nice thing about pemmicans, they don't, they'll only take what they need as well. Like if they only need like a so certain amount of it for to fill up their hunger, they'll only take that much and eat it. Uh, just keep seeing Discord thingies. I want to make sure it's not anything like super, super important, like. Things friends say is, you know, important, but, like, I want to make sure it's not like, oh, um, I'm dying, lol. <laughs> Cooking six. Food poison chances, 0.5 now. <clears throat> Have them start doing bulk pemmican. Wow, that takes a while. Oh, the fire went out, so we it got canceled. That's another downside of uh, doing bulk stuff is like, yeah, like, yeah, we're going to not do bulk pemmican anymore. It's annoying you have to haul it around everywhere, but... Yeah, we, we absolutely have to use up, like, all of this... Uh, meat before it goes bad otherwise it's gonna be such a waste
I'd say I do want to use these berries up first before the rice, if at all possible. All right, Lemur. I need you to do this research, please. We're we're we're, we're dying for metal for not metal. We already could make steel walls, I think, but we're dying to have some stone walls. Not again. Not like this. <laughs> Please. I've already dealt with, like, enough fire. Alright, this dude's dead. How about you, uh, take him to the other place, too? Yeah, this pemmican, I need to have it dropped on the ground instead of... take into a stockpile because that, that takes up so much time There goes more of the fucking map. Uh, can it rain, please? I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> Olabar made fun of Lemur's son's personal... Is Lemur pregnant? Uh, does not appear to be. Yet, maybe. Alright, alright dude, you need to make this pemmican before all this meat goes bad. Where's Lemur? Are you just hanging out? Watching the sunset near all the forest fires. Fantastic. Uh, how about you go and uh, cut some plants. Maybe give it a little less shit to forest fire at. Olivar, that, that's, that's an order, dude. Go, go uh, do that, please. Fine game. You want it to be a home area? All right, I'll play ball. Uh, some parts of this game are tedious like this where it's like, it's like, oh, I want to put this fire, but it's not the home area. Who cares? Let me just put out the goddamn fire. Jesus Christ. Put that one out, too. I clicked it. Please. Please and thank you. I also just want the fires to not be at my base. <laughs> what? What's this? Yeah, whatever. I know. Maybe. I left you unsupervised. I probably shouldn't have done that, but hey, things are still nice and clean in here. Oh, 
I'm getting the re Oh, thank fuck. Finally. Okay. So we can start doing stone cutting, which means we can start making stone blocks. Which would be nice. Let's see. Hmm. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Hello, the shame hole. Thanks for stopping in. We are playing RimWorld and I'm pulling my hair out because things are happening. <laughs> I, had a, I had a freak of flash storm start a fire near my base and my base is currently made of wood. So you can probably guess how that went. It burnt up all the stuff I grew earlier on in the season, so we're a little lower on food than I would have liked. <laughs> but, you know, you do what you, you do what you gotta do. We just did just finish stone cutting re uh, research, which is nice. I think we'll research complex furniture next. Yeah, we'll do complex furniture next. That'll give us a lot of... Yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever game. We've got Huntsman here, we've got Lemur, and we've got Olabar. They kind of spawned in wearing these deer skull masks on their own, so it's just kind of like, oh, cool, I guess that's our thing. He's the, he's cooking some pemmican here. She's going to proceed to eat, which is fine. He's going to bed. Yeah, like a li lightning stroke, like right here, it burnt up like this chunk and like all of this, and then all the food I had in there too. So it was a little annoying, mildly annoying. And there's just more fire. Ev there's just more fire everywhere because the, the storyteller keeps just making s lightning storms happen. See, so, yeah. ooh, actually, what happens if? The fire gets to this will it blow it up now I'm curious I guess we'll find out huh all these bison all these bison are gonna need to move too they're gonna they're gonna catch on fire oh yeah you're just one yeah one way to find out we'll just let it happen okay we need to clear this now because whatever there's a big old big old millipede well, you're out of stuff to do because he's my he's primarily a planter and a medic and it's about it's fall and the growing season's about to end so there's not much for him to do other than maybe cut some trees although i think he did just get promoted to block cutter for all these all this granite that we have to get through so let's actually get that started let's see stone cutter's table we'll just plop it right over here oh no anyway uh, Lemur, you're gonna have to wake up and build that because she's the construction person. She's also a night owl, which isn't, you know, ideal, but I kind of overlooked that when in the creation process. Okay, cool. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Alright. So I need to set you to craft four absolute lowest priority. Most of the second, just have him make bricks. It'll give him something to do, do forever, and drop on the floor. All right, enjoy. He's just gonna do that for a while now. Oh, you're getting back to this. Let me make sure that the room is still clean. So him making the pemmican's fine. Uh, cooking's getting up a nice little bit from all this pemmican. I'm trying to get through this uh, meat. Oh, this meat's gonna go bad. Fuck. Um, I might try to like last ditch effort, just make as many meals as possible out of it. Cause while while the fire was happening, the storyteller storyteller decided to send us like three like animals that are pretty tamed. And I was like, oh, well, I guess that makes up for some of the food, but not as much of it as I would have liked. So we're going to... Oh, suspend that. Uh, fine, finish eating. 
and then you need to immediately start just cooking as many meals as you can get out of this up oh, up oh, you need to stop clean the dirt first because if they if they cook one that's dirty in this little square it will um uh, food poisoning not good all right let's get at least a few meals out of it i mean i won't feel quite as bad So, yeah, salmonella, yeah, that's not a good time either, I'd imagine. <laughs> you don't want to cook in a dirty space if you can avoid it. I mean, if we can get a few more, absolutely, but I have a feeling this, uh, these, um, this meat's about to go off here. Oh, I, I, I can imagine it was bad. I've gotten food poisoning once, and I felt like I was dying. It was so bad. I was like the fucking, like, ugh. What is this? This is like rot stink. What is this? Oh, well, it, it literally deteriorated, that's a word, in his hands as he was cooking it. Well, we got seven more meals out of that, so that's not the worst. I want to kind of hold off on this uh, pemmican, if possible. Until we absolutely need to use it. Uh, what's the wildlife looking like? We got anything that's like... I, mean, I could try to hunt one of these bison, I guess. Ooh, we got some fish. There's like a fishing spot up here that sometimes Lemur sneaks off to fish at. <laughs> it's a little far away, unfortunately, so I'm not really keen on using it. But it is... There's a turtle. Um, yeah, I think we'll... Actually, let you, we'll let... Huntsman is going to recreate. Get... Get... Unboard. And then... We're gonna go see about trying to kill one of those up uh, one of them bassins what are you up to oh you're you're, you're a little gung-ho on the whole granite blocks thing when you tell them to do this they'll just literally keep doing it until they either just like drop not quite drop dead but they'll they'll, they'll keep they will keep going for a while until you tell them to do something else or clear out their queue with draft but let's get all these blocks inside and then next day we'll start doing some more construction all right you um uh, yeah it's time for you to eat some food and go to sleep okay and then lemur is the night owl so she's gonna stay up and do research that fire is getting awfully close to my all wooden base again <sighs> this fucking game all right, Lemur, you might you might have to start reconstructing the storeroom immediately. Uh, God, why? All right, well, uh, granite wall. That or I cut out like a large swath of plants. Let's see. My main question is, which would be faster? Let's build one wall and see how fast it is, and then if it's, you know, it might just be better to, um, let's see, how stable is that, so that will, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how many walls I can get away with keeping up while keeping all the roofed stuff, because if this doesn't have anywhere to spread to, then it, like, won't as much, but. I do not want that fire touching all my stuff here. That would be bad. So, yeah, let's, uh, structure, granite wall. All right, Lemur, show me what you, so show me what you can do. That's also a problem. It's just gonna make piles of wood everywhere.
We might have to have uh, Huntsman here um, assist. Hold the fire at bay while I, <laughs> while I fucking build the walls. Oh, this is ridiculous. That's why I don't like building out of sto wood in the first place. But we are tribal start, so we don't have that option otherwise. Alright, Huntsman, let's go over here. Uh, I gotta go to zones. And... Oh, is it raining now? Okay, game. Just, just being a bit of a tease, huh? <laughs> well, whatever. Cool. Back to whatever you wanted, what you were wanting to do, I guess. Liam will still do wall shit. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know what? Fine, whatever. <laughs> That's just kind of how I feel right now. Just whatever. Just please. Just. Uh, Wow, that whole area is just burnt to the fucking ground. The, the bison are all just kind of running over here. This is where I keep all the corpses. Uh, are you the most recent one? I think so. This is the oldest one we have that's not buried underground. They, they, they decay in the water a little bit faster. Especially when it's raining. Like It's not going to rain for an entire day, but that's still... Yeah. Okay, Lemur is awake right now. Why? Why are you awake right now? You're supposed to be asleep. That's what this means. It means sleep. Is your uh, your energy's full? Whatever. Fine. I tried. I tried to be accommodating, but you're just being a weirdo. Oh boy. She botched. She botched the construction. That's yeah, fine. We're making a ton of these bricks. Like each of these things gives you like twenty, and each of these walls takes like five. So we're gonna be able to replace all of this and then some. Oh boy, a tortoise! By the time it gets here, I'm gonna fucking die of old age. <laughs> This is on three times speed. It's just, it's just go. It's just meandering along. She's literally gonna finish all that. No, never mind. She's going back to sleep. I was gonna say she's about to finish all that building before the tortoise even gets here. Uh, you are a boy. That's great. Cool. Uh, tortoise train ability. Mm. Lemur might be able to do something with this tortoise, like make it like her friend or whatever, or tame it or whatever, but it's only gonna really be good for, um, being maybe a tank. But hey, that's still a use, so can't really complain too hard. How about you stop that? Maybe, if you want, if you. Okay, Lemur reached level eight, level eight in construction, which means she now cannot fail under normal circumstances the building process, which is great. Now I gotta figure out where we're doing. Two, three, four, five. That's where the door is gonna be. We're gonna just start replacing all these walls because the storeroom is a at least a semi-permanent structure. We're also going to replace these walls, too, because this is, like, our defensive area. That'll give her plenty to do. And you can do that because you kind of run out of stuff to do. Why are you... Are you going to go, like, do something else? Oh, you're, you're putting bricks on all the wall pieces. 
That's actually really helpful. Because that means that she doesn't have to do that. Oh, we ran out of meals. Great. Um, yeah. Hey, Huntsman, you want to maybe not do that. Let's see if we can get one of these bison to a... Uh, Dyson. <laughs> oh, of course it's you. I want to be careful about shooting one of these because I could make the whole herd of them angry. I guess we'll shoot this one. Did I hit it? Does not look like it. I did. I'm trying to hit like one of them and like maybe either piss it off or damage it enough to make it bleed out. Okay, hit that one. It's no immediate danger, but it. I think it will like increasingly bleed out. But that also possibly helps separate it from the pack. If it doesn't like run in the middle of all the other ones, that is. I'm about to do something a little, a little silly. I think it's this one that's hurt. Um, is the bleeding going up? We might need to shoot at it again and hope that they don't all just get pissed off at me. They're all just like, nah, whatever. Honk shoe, honk shoe, me, 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 me. I think it's this one. Yeah, we need to get an actual, score an actual hit on it other than what, whatever weird hit we did there. Okay, hit it again. All right, that's probably a little better. Let's uh, have him go back home and not be depressed. We should be able to track which one it is. Yeah, it's this. We can track. We can see its stuff, and we can come fight it again later. She has just been hard at work. Okay, and we'll build a... Okay, we probably need to get some recreation here. I should have did that a lot sooner, but... For now, this is gonna have to be your little rec room. Alright, Lemur. Doctor request opportunity. No, thank you. <laughs> Why are you resting? What? What is your sleep? Oh, technically, I guess it's that. Um. Oh, I think I did this complete. I did this completely wrong. Her like awake time is like very little. <laughs> I did this way wrong. What the hell's wrong with me? Let me redo this. Let's see. So night owl. So six a.m. to eleven a.m. is when I want to uh, avoid having her awake for the most part. Oh wait, no. Um, 11 a, 11 a.m. is when she needs to go to bed, so. I was wondering, I was like, why are you sleeping so much? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yep, perfect, that works out. You know what that means? Get back to work! <laughs> Whoops!
Right. Uh, what? Which one? Okay. You have decent shooting, so maybe I should give you one of these bows and have you go after the other. Um. Yeah, you should give her one. Oh no, I I sold all the bows. Made some crappy bows. You can now play Hoopstone. Feel better about himself. Wish that worked for me. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling like shit. Let's go play Hoopstone. <laughs> oh, yeah, the turtle's just like... Okay. Where is that bison? We need to... Uh... There's a warg. The hell do you fight? An alpaca? Did, did... Hoop and Rock, my favorite game of the year. Game of the year edition. <laughs> oh yeah, this this warg is gonna be fine, unfortunately. Now bison here, how's your wound? Oh you you've actually got some blood loss, so let's go finish let's go finish this let's go finish the fight. Oh, we've definitely heard it a little bit more. To the point where it's actually gonna bleed out eventually. Which well good, we don't wanna wait that long to get this going, because I think we're about out of we're about out of meals. Well, this one's a little fucked up now. It's gonna bleed out in five hours. Frankly, it's probably best to just wait until then, then not risk getting uh, manhunter stuff on these. Now, what are you up to? Oh, uh, you've been just making a million blocks, haven't you? You sure have. Good on you. Appreciate appreciate that. Let's see if any berry bushes like. Sur I'm surprised this didn't get fucking burnt down. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's see if there's any berry bushes that survived the great, like, the great map fire of freaking 2023-2013. Jesus Christ. My brain is not correctly installed. <laughs> It's you. You're gonna bleed out soon, buddy. Making an awful lot of blood there. Some folks are arriving. I might have, these people with these purple masks. It's a little, a little unsettling. I say as I have like a deer skull face mask. I <laughs> got oh, these people with the purple masks are a little fucked up. Hostile brewers? What does that even mean?
Hello, Pookie. Smelly little man. Oh, it's dirty in there. Let's uh, clean the dirt. Look at all these bones we have. I think we can, like, I think we can uh, extract some of the bone marrow for them to get, like, a food source. You can also just build with bones. It's a mod that adds bones. Eight koi fish have run away in storage. Okay, you need to go visit our... Oh, it's dead. Cool. Perfect timing. Gonna go grab that, uh, I know there was a alpaca around here somewhere that the warg killed, at least I thought there was. It is, uh, it is still fresh. <clears throat> Consume dead alpaca, mmm, just eat it whole. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab that before it spoils, and we can use the meat for our own porpoises. Wakey, wakey. Oh, yeah, these weirdos are here. They're all going to just eat at our table. Oh, this person's literally just named Ally. <clears throat> Let's see. We don't have anything they want to buy. That sniper rifle would be really cool, but we don't have m the money for a sniper rifle. So we're going to have to let them go. I'm hoping this next season we can start planting stuff like smoke leaf. That will let us make some money. Because just like real life, drugs are good money. time to cook some more meals out of all this goddamn meat merge so we got like 264 meat we do have some rice we can use to make pemmican which pemmican lasts like a long time so it's probably best to just do pemmican it goes through so little stuff though If I turn this to a uh, preferred, I can I can probably force them to uh, haul meat, all the meat over to this place instead of in there, and then have them. I'm trying I'm trying to trick the game into making it easier for me. To do things you're just trying to go to sleep I mean I get it <laughs> but 
refuel the campfire before we start this shena these shenanigans. We're just gonna make like 20, like, it's probably still not even close to enough, but. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna make as much pemmican as I can make with this meat before it goes bad. What in the, Lamer, what the hell was that? Put that back. Put that back where you found it, or so help me. You do not need to just keep pemmican in your pocket like a little weirdo. <laughs> Is that pemmican in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? That would be really greasy. Hold on a second. Let me check my phone. Did I just like not do a t my Twitter go live? It seems like I did, but I oh, don't know. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, I just was wondering, I was like, oh, well, maybe I forgot to do that. Uh, let me make sure I was, Let's see who my Discord messages are from. Oh, no messages, okay. Uh, all right, back to this, back to, sup like, supervising this goober. You know what, whatever, just eat the pemmican. I didn't want them to, but they don't have any meals right yet. It's kind of funny how that dude's just kind of running around in circles, just, uh, You need to probably take a break from that to like rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to prepare for the winter at this point. Since I lost all that food, that was a pretty major setback. Hauling berries. Is there any more berries over here? Oh, there's some. Try to get these berries while the getting is good because I think once the sixth the sixth start hits the temperature is going to keep dropping. What am I researching anyway? Complex furniture. I need to do um, complex clothing instead. It's probably a little late for that, but hopefully we can get that done before winter hits because it's gonna get a little. Um, Is there a tailoring bench that we can already make? Doesn't look like it. I just kind of and we have these uh these tribal wares. But they only really do so much for you. Cold wise. Like like if it gets any lower than six, we'll start getting cold and suffer side effects from that but let's see this one here needs to get broken and then we'll replace it with a granite wall because this little part here is, un is overhead mountain and we cannot leave that uncovered so we won't. He's just running around cleaning everything. Uh, here, have some harvest some more berries. That's useful. Granted, the cleaning is useful, but yeah, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll give that command and he'll just go around the map harvesting the herbal medicine. Okay, you get to relax. After you're done relaxing, we'll have you, uh... Mine that, and that can then be built. Should be able to mine that. There's still, like... Yeah, it's still... The, the overhead mountain is still supported. It's when you don't have it supported that you get run into problems. It'll continue... If it's not supported by... Like, up to six tiles away, a wall will support ceilings, which includes, like, the overhead mountain and these thin rock roofs, etc. And if you don't have that, this will just endlessly just produce rock. And it can fall on people and kill them, <laughs> because of course it can. Why wouldn't it, you know? Instead, all this... Oh yeah, the turtle's just wandering around. Uh, perhaps we should make a, a zone that this turtle cannot go into the bedrooms. That seems like a good idea, because it just interrupted our sleep, which is a little bit of a negative thing. Okay, no animals. Actually, I have to... Hmm. Oh, if I, if I do, um, like this, and like this, and then I do invert, I think it means that it'll, it'll let everywhere else but that, so let's try that. Yep. So, the bedrooms are now off limits to this turtle. <laughs> this isn't really a sim game. Game, sim game, sim game. If you guys don't just die all the time and silly, you're absolutely right. One hundred percent. There, now that overhead mountain tile's not a problem anymore. Not only is it covered up, but it is, um... Um, it's covered up by this wall, which is good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, his meat is gonna go bad in 20 hours, and he's gonna sleep for like eight of those, roughly, give or take. Kinda need him to keep doing some pemmican creation. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to keep him up. What are you doing? Consuming pemmican. Of course you are. Fair enough. I mean, we don't have meals right now, so that's kind of the, her only recourse. Can't really be mad at her for that. Yep, he's a uh... ding 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 ding. All right, go to bed. <laughs> oh, level five intellectual, nice. <clears throat> that will help with our research. Her research speed. 
So as it currently stands, we can't really make too many things to keep us warm. Uh, there might be a uh, hmm. piece of fabric which covers the wearer's face. It protects surprisingly well against pollution. Um, tribal wear is effective in insulating the wearer. Kid tribal wear. Uh, modest tribal mask. Gaudy tribal mask. Throwing rocks. Uh... Hmm. Turn, 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 well, I, could, I think I'd probably make these out of, like, leather. I might be able to make these out of leather, and maybe they'll give me some insulation, but I don't know. It's a fucking turtle. Uh, we're gonna probably make another area. Uh, that's well. We're gonna we're gonna not let the turtle in our food storage. That'd be silly. It can eat grass. It doesn't need to eat our our food. Okay, she's doing good researching. He's getting some shut eye. Oh. God, that's a lot of blood for not one bison we killed. Ooh, some buffalo showed up. They're very good sources of food as well. He's just running around in circles. They're just, they're just walking blood bags, you know? Like, that's just... It just makes a lot of blood, you know? It's like... You didn't think... You wouldn't think there would be that much blood in one creature, yeah? Why do they keep it all? In the... In the I don't know. You'd have to ask one. <laughs> I'm not sure where it keeps all of it. Oh, one of the corpses is gone. Uh, that's someone that raided us. That's some random furry dude that wandered on the map and... Die and bled to death because he stepped on one of my traps and well, he kind of just bled to death. Didn't seem like he wanted to really fix himself up that bad. Maybe he just had a death wish. Hard to say, but make some more bricks. Can they get to rest together for a little bit? Why? Why did you cross the spike trap to go watch clouds? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't heard from Hachi in like a week or two, or so. I haven't been able to get. In, I haven't been able to get in touch with Hachi at all. I've been. Tr I've tried not to like bother him in case he wants some time away from people. Then again, I don't know like a good if I'm doing good ways to get in touch with them because the only things I really know are Twitter and Discord, and I haven't had much luck with either, so I don't know. So the answer, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't mind if he's just taking some time away from the fucking internet. He, I probably should, but so it goes, you know. But no, I haven't. I haven't seen the thing that you've been working on. What you working on? Sorry about that tangent of mine there. <laughs> oh, what the f... Why? Why did you do this to yourself? It, it walked on the spike trap and died. Fucking loser. Oh, well. Oh, that's fair. So we need to crank on some uh, simple meals soon as possible Ooh, interesting um I'd be happy to see what you're working on
You can either DM me on disc on uh, Discord or Twitter or anything like that. Yeah, just let me know. I'd be happy to see what you're doing. All right, is it clean in here? We need to try to... I need to try to make some meals out of the meat before it all goes back. It's about to. Thankfully, making meals is pretty fast compared to um, pemmican. So we can at least get a few me more meals out of this than I was expecting. Hey, that's okay. Uh, bills, spend, spend about this. Well, let me see. Let me take a look quick. Oh my goodness. I think Hachi might have showed me that, actually. It's a creature. <laughs> that is a real creature. Hell yeah. Good shit. Keep working on it. Looks promising. It looks like a SpongeBob character. Hopefully that's not offensive to say. <laughs> it's a wretched little beast. <laughs> Just a wretched little creature existing on this earth. Lemur, can you please, like, move the Ibex off the trap before you replace the trap, at least? Jesus. We're going for a 12-ounce mouse. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright. You are doing that. What are you? Oh, you're, you're just standing in there, probably mourning the loss of all of our, uh... out a bit more we're gonna do this and expand out our freezer area it's gonna eventually be a freezer and during the winter we can remove a roof tile in order to allow uh, the cold in Although it might be cold enough where it's not necessary either as well, so start doing that kind of planning. I'll give lemurs something to do. Chatted about tele... How, how do you know what television is? You're part of a Neolithic tribe, weirdos. Hostile writers. Me too, bitch. <laughs> See if we can have Huntsman here deliver all the blocks. Brick Ricks, Olabar, uh, Olabar, buddy, how about you uh, go eat some food before you lose your mind trying to make blocks? <laughs> Not construction. She already had a Mac had a hundred percent chance to construct things, but that just makes her faster at doing it now. So all is well. Yeah, outdoors, it's almost uh, zero degrees Celsius. 
So before long, it's gonna get to the point where we can just, uh... It's gonna get to where we can just open a roof tile and... Be ni it'll be nice and cold in there and our stuff will freeze. Mad Ibex Ram, huh? Yeah, this is this is pretty um, similar to like Dwarf Fortress and and the like. It's a pretty good game. There's like uh, three DLCs for it now, I believe. Let me look at Steam page. Uh, yeah, there's three DLCs for for it now. One that adds, like, kind of royalty and, like, psychic powers. One that adds, like, religion and stuff. And the newest one, which we're on now, that adds, like, babies and just a bunch of just stuff. Well worth the price, but if, if, if it's nothing bad about just getting the base game and do, doing that stuff to begin with. Okay. Everyone needs to get inside because another Ibex Ram has lost its fucking mind. It's going to try to get into our shit. It, it saw someone come inside, and now it's like, I'm gonna break this door down, motherfucker! Ah, vine sauce p p pizza pasta. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something they would play at least once. Probably not something Joel would play. He plays more like the granddads and the bootleg shit, which is very funny, but not exactly RimWorld. Uh, let's have you come outside and... Ha having somebody pathable will make this Ibex Ram probably come to our traps. Oh, yep, here. Uh, he probably has. One, no, where, where are you going? No, you need to not do that right now. You need to not go anywhere. What? You need to not go there either. It's like, oh, fine, I'll just stand here. Literally just standing there. Yep, well, crisis averted. <laughs> well, that's more meat for the table, I guess. I don't know what to do with this one, let alone this one. <laughs> like, it, granted, it's gonna get cold enough outside soon to where things will just freeze. Like, yeah, like, as it is, this one's already frozen. <laughs> so, we'll take it inside, and we'll probably leave a hole in the roof over here. And we'll do the same thing over here, too. So that the temperature can get in and be nice and cold. Okay, those people are long gone. Undraft, undraft. What are you even doing? Oh, not that. Let's ha have you haul this ram here and what? Is oh, he's playing hoopstone. I was like, what are you doing? Okay, and. I would like you to uh, prioritize the uh, spike traps first, please, Lemur. Because that's what helps keep us safe. We have somebody with a bow, but it's not a very good bow, and yeah, we're just... Trying to keep things away from us long enough to, uh... Keep stuff away from us long enough to, um... Build up enough money to buy stuff like guns. Alright, so we can now delete these walls. X, 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 X! What are you eating? Why did you leave that on the floor, weirdo? <laughs> Can... Fine, play Hoopstone, see if I care. Uh, we have to go and cut this tree.
Actually, no, that's fine. I want some of the roof co uncovered because it will keep the... It, it will keep the... Um, it nice and cold in here. It'll get it'll get cold. Uh, actually, the temperature went back up. So, fuck me. <laughs> You're just going to town on this. I need to probably set this to only uh, set this strictly to Olabar because. As much as I appreciate the extra bricks from Huntsman, he's a bit more useful than Olabar right now, in general. His skills of mining and cooking are a bit more versatile at this point in the year. Oh, it looks like we're cutting up one of these uh, Ibexes. Oh, wrong person. Uh, I don't think we can make fine meals on this stove and since we're not used we're not like cheesing the stove anyway by like take like deconstructing it briefly while doing other stuff we should probably upgrade this to an actual stove that still uses wood but will at the very least um it will at the very least um not just burn away all of our wood by being just a fire that's constantly turned on. Um, so I think what we're going to do is have Huntsman mine all this junk out. Because should be able to mine it. Yeah, we can mine it. I'm trying to, to do too much... Stuff all at once in case I get raided, because that's never fun. Well, you know, whatever, just do it. Do you have any food on you? Nope. Alright, well, it's in pemmican. I'll re forbid it. I'll go mining. Lemur will be awake soon. put the stove right here which means that 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 okay still will be there so that that and then we'll move this door over and put another thing in there and this will probably move at some point anyway as well but yeah did we end up with a bunch of herbal med- Oh, we did. I Because I told him to cut a bunch of it around the map, and he, I just kind of forgot about it. And then I looked back, and there was like 20 herbal medicine. What a dead turkey. We already have too many dead corpses to cut. I need to stop. I was kind of looking for some berries, though, before the winter temperatures claim them. Because I give Olabar something he can just do. Right, let's deconstruct this shit. can't yet oh oh yeah he can be a backup researcher at least he's not very good at it but neither was she when she started doing it and then we'll build another
build a wall there and Um, I have a mod that lets me just move walls around anyway, so we'll just build a wall here for now. We'll just move them somewhere else once that's done. Okay, work on that, please. Good old lemur. How are you botching stuff? Oh, are you like fucked up in some way let me see let me look at your health stuff hypothermia well that would explain why you messed it up you're literally shivering because it's already negative eight outside Jeez. well guess you're staying inside forever the deserter we don't want to deal with that uh we need to make this this uh, stove. Bad temperature as opposed to good temperature. All right, work it. All right, let's uh, get rid of this. I guess that happened. I kind of wanted to get get it gone, but I didn't meet, think it would work that way. <laughs> well, that gives us more space for all this. Frozen won't spoil. Probably gonna move. Uh, this is not gonna be a bedroom for very much longer. Uh, let's see. We can do one, two, three, four, five. That could be a bedroom. And for now, we'll just have two big bedrooms for, like, he'll have his own big bedroom and they'll have one they share. Because they're a cup. Uh, Huntsman and Lemur are a couple. Unfortunately, she's oh she needs to eat something so here I turned the pemmican off because I want to like do meals if possible and have the pemmican as like an emergency food ah you got food Olabar got food poisoning well sorry bud gonna have you just help bring bricks to these walls in that case I also need him to cut that little tree down because otherwise it would have taken a while it would take it take it would take her a while to do it because her skill is not quite as good and even with food poisoning he's much faster at cutting this stuff than she would be I'm feeling she just went to bed <laughs> No, not quite, but close. <laughs> there she goes. I was expecting her to go to bed much sooner. Uh, where are you? Let's haul that off of the stove. Let's. I, have to, I should have did this much sooner, but we need a zone for uh, dumping stuff, which is like for like rocks and the like. Uh, 
<clears throat> now here we're gonna we can make fine meals with this stove now, which um, uses mixed uh, food kinds, like uses meat and vegetables, but they're actually just better meals anyway. Like your your colonists will like them more to give a mood boost. So let's uh, yeah, we'll do those as much as we can because we kind of have just meat right now, so we might as well just make most of our supplies. You know what, you get, it was like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm eating the first one, motherfucker. Mmm. <laughs> As you should. Oh, yeah, I need to change the uh, the bill here. Go to details and then have them uh, drop it on the floor. Because otherwise it takes a lot more time to have them walk back and forth doing stuff. I think he just put it in his pocket. Oh, we need to clean... This uses the same resources as the pemmican does, but it's faster to make and gives you a mood boost. So, if you have the if you have the means to do so, fine meals are probably like the best resource to nutrition and value you can get. Really, please don't vomit. <laughs> oh, Olabar is um, hiding in his room because his mood is bad. Because he's in intense pain because he has food poisoning. So he's just going to go to his room and just kind of hang out. We're just kind of just a bunch of cave people just living in this like granite house now. Oh yeah, she must still be uh, shivering. Dangerous low cool body temperature. Unless rewarmed, hypothermia area gets worse and ends in death. Recovery is quick once the victim is rewarmed. Avoid hypothermia by wearing warm clothing. Yeah, I need to have I need to get a campfire put down so we can warm one of these rooms up. Probably this one here, honestly. She's gonna like just keep fucking up building stuff while she's got hypothermia. Alright, you need to just kinda hang out over here for a second to get this. Okay, um, we need another door there. Because the, the, the temperature is shared amongst all these things. So this room should start warming up a little bit. And you stay right there. It goes away quickly. But you want to watch it, especially if you don't have good uh, clothing. She'll probably be able to do some work before getting hypothermia and stuff again. Oh, a muffler decided I wanted to self-tame. That's an interesting choice. This one... There's a male muffalo, which means the only thing we can really get out of, I think, is fur, but honestly, that's pretty good, too. We might actually, it might be worth our time trying to keep it alive. So we might need to make a pin for it now. <laughs> uh, let's see. A 
for now, we'll just make like a little pin over here, I guess, to keep the muffalo in. to it which frankly should probably be sooner rather than later I mean admittedly this stuff doesn't take long to build so I should probably just get it done and over with oh no Oh yeah, he's still just freaking out. So he's hiding his room, but he's not really in his room. Okay, now he's in his room. Oh, well, Lima's just gonna tough it out with this tree. Not even meat. Um, what were you? What are you talking about? We have some meat in here. I don't know if I missed. I, I don't know if I missed something or not. I wouldn't be surprised if I did. <laughs> oh, is he done with his little tantrum? Yeah, he's done. Now he's sleeping. He's, he's done with his nervous breakdown. Oh, yep, the trees are starting to lose their leaves, so it's starting to get too cold for things to... Uh... Well, sun just got fucking owned. Let's look at the wildlife. Uh, this fucking freaky dinosaur is still here. <laughs> it's one of the mod from one of the mods I have installed. That adds like megafauna. Cause just big ass old big ass ancient animals are just really cool, so I don't need to fine. Can you please like stop? One of my big pet fees, sometimes you tell them to do stuff and then they'll immediately just like say, Oh, nope, I wanted to go do something else, lol. Lol, lameo. Play Hoopstone on your own time. She's like, okay. <laughs> Alright, we, we need to wrestle up this uh, muffalo that we have. This buffalo just decided to tame on its own, so I guess we'll try to keep it alive throughout the winter. If it comes so we can feed it some pemmican or something. she gets up I'm gonna have her try to finish this stuff the turtles just wandering around once you can get like electricity and stuff you can have like little coolers and heaters all over your base have like a power have a power grid have but like this is gonna be a battery room once we get that far. Eventually, TM. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see if I can... I don't think there's any corpses on the map. Um, well, there is. It's right here. I was trying to see if, if I could do that to see if there's any de thing dead on the map there. Alright. So now we got some more meat. Buddy, I'm gonna need you to make some more fine meals. As many as, many as you can. Yeah, I think uh, do until you have uh, ten as a good uh, goal. Until until there's ten registered in here, he'll just make them. We have lots of wood to fuel this stove, so I'm not really that bothered about doing this. But Just running around, hauling stuff. <clears throat> Lemur has arrived. I just heard stuff getting deconstructed. I was like, oh, there it goes, Lamer. Yeah, the, the balance of stuff growing versus um, consumption is not very good. I think we can really do about that would be to uh, extend this pin out more, which is very cheap. Just so that the, the buffalo has enough to eat. We really kind of hamstrung ourselves by not um, focusing on getting clothing research, so we could have like hats and stuff to stay warm with. That was uh, that was my bad there. fucking millipede it's an herbivore this is kind of weird it's been wandering out eat around eating grass That's okay, I gotta deconstruct some of these so I'll be able to... Why are you in my pen, little weird, weird bug? S Seriously? Stop botching the fucking construction. Thank you. Jeez. Please, I, please do the thing right, literally right next to you. You son of a bitch. <laughs> God. That's still not great, but there's at least more food for the, the muffalo to eat in here before we have to worry about it. Okay, whatever.
what is your chance? Currently, it's 93, even with the hypoth hypothermia. You need to go inside and warm up. A little, a little bit of a rough start this game. I kind of forgot to do some important things, and we had to scramble and starve for a while. But so it goes. Oh, it's very dirty. Hopefully that didn't cause doesn't cause any problems. It probably will. Excuse you. Why are you still cooking fine meals? You're supposed to do until you have ten. Whatever. Limber's sleeping right now, which is weird. So when she's supposed to be awake. <laughs> Just out here cutting blocks, huh? All right, well, take take some back with you if you're gonna go back inside anyway, you weirdo. Just cleaning dirt. Oh, it's like it's like 3 p.m. I was like, wait, isn't it a little early for her to be asleep and? No, this is what she's supposed to be asleep. What are you doing? Oh. How about you just harvest any berries you can find left, I guess. No, that's not harvesting berries. Neither is that, but whatever. Just, <laughs> just whatever. <laughs> They sometimes have their own ideas on what they want to do. What are you... Uh, food, I... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Um, inside time. Uh, you need to not be in here. And where, where is this fucking thing? Oh. You better fucking run, dude. Yeah, we're not gonna leave until, um, we're not leaving the house until, um, this thing goes and fucking tries to eat something else, cause, yeah, the big predators like this will absolutely try to hunt and kill your colonists, <laughs> like, without missing a fucking beat, they will, they will do it. I just need this thing to go somewhere else. Go hunt something else. Or starve to death. I don't know. I don't care. Oh. Oh, it's gonna fight the freaking millipede. I wanna see what I wanna see this. They're both can just big animals. Alright, well. Not looking great for the millipede so far. It's just been stunned. Yeah, anything getting into a fight with this thing is not going to have a good time. I mean, it's trying to put up a fight. <laughs> it's 
It's just like watching National Geographic. Just two big ass animals just fighting. Well, enjoy, I guess. Um, your, your movement speed is still way. Like, let me look at your movement speed. Yeah, your movement speed is w still way too high for me to try to like do a kiting thing with you, cause. Yeah, that thing would just chase me down and beat me to death. Really unfortunate that this thing's on our on the fucking map. Life expectancy 110. That's absurd. Uh, revenge chance and harm 100%. If we had something like a sniper rifle, we could probably like shoot at it and then hide and then until it get, gets bored and goes away or something. But we don't have that, so we're gonna just have to be cautious about what we do around this thing. Eclipse is ending. Oh yeah, there was an eclipse. There was an eclipse. <laughs> okay, with this we'll have most of the stuff in our base replaced with uh, granite, and these will be two nice big size bedrooms. What we're going to want next is to um, set up a, a bill for marble. Same deal, we'll have a drop on floor. And Olabar is our worker for that. So when he's got some time or whatever. Frankly, a little surprised we even get berries at this point, this late in the season. But hey, that's gonna supplement our food supplies pretty nicely. He's just relaxing, okay. What wildlife is left on the map that's not this fucking thing? There's some more, bi there's more bison. There's also a bunch of muffalo too. There's also this warg. That can also cause us problems. your move speed 3.8 I'm gonna do something stupid or at least try to do something stupid we're gonna try to shoot this thing and um, hope that it doesn't uh, break down the door immediately once we shoot it and harm it These doors aren't very strong. 
perhaps I should uh, do something a little silly and make like another door in here for him to hide through. Cause this is probably a very poor decision, but I want this thing to be to. I don't want this. I want to maybe hit this thing enough for it to bleed out and go away, cause it's causing us problems. All right, so. Well, I just take a wild meandering shot at this thing and then like just immediately start moving away because now we didn't hit it. Oh, I did that time. Oh, God. Nope, it's coming. What I, did I? It's probably gonna smash that up. Oh, I did give up. No, not not yet. Oh, you need to get inside now. Yeah, that thing's like, um, yeah, I'm gonna go hunt this dude over here, lol. I'm like, uh oh. I'm doing stupid shit at this point. I should probably not be doing this. Just running around angry. <laughs> I might try something stupid again. I don't think it smelled me through the wall. That might the thing I was just a coincidence. Basically what I wanna do is like wait till it's a little farther away and then pop out and try to shoot at it again. Nope, oh, run, 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 run. <laughs> And that's why I was worried about these doors. Oh, that door survived. Jesus Christ, why am I doing I guess I'm just bored and this thing is kind of keeping me trapped around here because at any time it could just decide it wants me to not be alive anymore and yeah, it's just not a great time. I guess you can just clean up trash while we're trying to do this stupid horse shit. Tortoise one, what are you doing? Did you win? There is no winning in this game, but I'm trying to like annoy this um, trying to annoy this big crocodile thing that's been at, hovering around the map for like the entire year. I'm currently trying to fix this door <laughs> so that whenever it can't quite break the door down from full from its full HP, so I can pop out and try to shoot it. How's your blood? Oh, yeah, yeah your, your blood's recovering faster than it's going down. So, yeah, I need to be able to hit you again. 
But I need this door to be fixed all the way before I try it. Before I dare make another attempt. Some stupid shit I'm trying to do. Oh, I missed. Go! Run! Run! Get back in there! <laughs> Wait, what's it doing? I was expecting it. Alright. I was expecting it to just come after me, but I don't think it did. Get through. Well, we're, we're kind of tribes people, okay? There's only so much you can really do. I missed. Go! Get inside! Get inside! Get doubly inside. Get, in get through all the doors. It shouldn't be able to. Oh! It didn't break the last door. Well, shit. <laughs> I don't think we have the skill to make a, uh, a like a, a compound bow, which or composite bow, which would be better. But. <sighs> I mean, yeah, that would be really funny. To have something like a. If we had enough money, I could have bought a sniper rifle earlier, but we just don't. Come over here. You don't need to be over here. <laughs> it's just like it's fucking crocodile. I was like, what the fuck? Where's it going? Where are you going? You're doing you're doing weird shit. God, this thing is a little scary. It killed this millipede earlier just because it was hungry. Lock you in there for a sec. I've got an idea. A two pronged attack. Let's see if maybe it'll like go around this side because there's somebody exposed. Or maybe it'll just kind of wander around and we can get a sh try to get another shot off on it. Oh, I hit it again. Why do you sound like that? Oh, we hit, we hit it good enough where it's starting to bleed out. Good, good. Okay, well then, get back inside. You don't need to do any weird shit. We just got to wait it out now. I kind of want to just shoot it some more because it's kind of funny. Nope. It's a little much. I think if I get far enough away, it just kind of loses interest seems like we can take another shot or try to you, you can go up there near the, the vent if you want little dude <laughs> this is ridiculous <laughs> troll yeah it's kind of what we're doing eight hours all right this thing is going to give us so much meat. It's fine. It's worth it, probably, maybe. I mostly just want it to not be near my base, because it's just been kind of hanging around my base, killing, um, like, raccoons and shit. But then earlier, when this guy was trying to go do something up here, it tried to attack him, so I was... I had... I got him away fast enough, but... Well, when it decides it wants to come back, we'll try to shoot it again. Sounds like a big li I mean, it is a big lizard. 
Oh. 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 Nope. Get, get inside. Get inside. Different room. Yeah, we're gonna just let it bleed out the rest of the way, um, without, um... <laughs> She's just like, why the fuck am I in this room? There you go. <laughs> there you go, lemur. Oh, okay, it is, uh, bleeding out now, so... You, brave hunter. Finish the job. <laughs> I actually killed it. I wasn't expecting that to actually work. And now we've got like three, like two doors we gotta rebuild because they got smashed to fucking pieces by this big ass Quincana, whatever the fuck that even means. Uh... Still, f still fall. Jeez, it needs to be winter already, so it's like so cold that everything freezes. Because currently it's not cold enough for that to happen, and we don't have any other way to preserve our food. So, yeah, we need, uh, we need the seasons to hurry up and do their thing. Consume. <laughs> I'm wondering how much meat this is going to give us, because it's, it's going to, it's going to be a lot, right? I feel a little bad for wasting all this, but you know. That yeah, dude's been through a lot. He's like, I'm gonna go eat this food and chill the fuck out. Good idea. There we go. The doors are back to f full strength. Spoils in 12 days. Never mind. Transport crash. An escaped convict named Artemis is crashing in a transport pod nearby. Artemis is suffering from paralytic abasia and will be unable to walk. She will recover naturally after many days. There's also a chance of a lucky, quick recovery. Paralytic abasia can also be cured by a special operation, which requires a large amount of glitter world medicine. She is willing to contribute once she has recovered, but will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want Artemis, you can banish her, sell her into slavery, or leave her to die. However, your other colonists may find this disturbing. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't need this right now. Where are you? Okay, Artemis. Wait, are you an enemy? Uh, Ferovo Fire Home. What faction is that? Oh yeah, you're you're, you're definitely uh, pirates. <laughs> um, you don't really have any skills that well. Oh, you're, I mean, you're gay. That's great. Um, social's fine, but you can't fight, which is kind of important. Mm. Sorry, hon. I think you're just going to not be able to do anything. We're not going to do anything with you. Ripperoo. That was a lot of meat. Holy shit. The temperature just keeps fluctuating. It's frankly an, a little annoying. Let's shrink this zone, which will have them drag all this stuff back into this side of the room. Oh, no. Hall, please. Thank you. Hall, please. Thank you. And then we're going to remove the roof and like this entire chunk here. 
in hopes that I'll make it cool down a bit. Because outside it's negative four. Uh-oh. Lemur proposed marriage to Huntsman. Huntsman rejected the proposal. Lemur is going to be unhappy about the No shit. Maybe don't propose a marriage in the freaking food storage room next to a bunch of raw meat. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's probably not going to be very happy. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's not great. Didn't need that right now either, but... Now it's nice and cold up and now it's nice and cold in here. Which means all this stuff should be frozen. Yeah, it's all frozen now. It is considered deteriorating though, which isn't ideal, so we're probably gonna have to re roof some of this. This bill says do until we have 10, but there's like already 10. Oh, pause when satisfied. Okay. Unpause at four. Okay. I didn't have, I didn't have it all the way set up. <laughs> Cause now when we have 10 of these fine meals, this, this order will stop. But when we have four, it'll reactivate so that he'll just make some more food. Solar flare. I almost didn't even notice there was a solar flare. <laughs> Alright, whatever. what other bullshit predators are on the map? Let's see, there's a warg and there's two red foxes. The red foxes will absolutely attack your people if there's nothing else for them to do and the warg will absolutely do so like not even a question about it thankfully the warg is up here but if it gets hungry enough it'll target someone further away yeah yeah I wonder why lemur's out in a bad mood she's still awake during She's awake at a bad time of the day. Let me see. It's 6 a.m. Probably soon she'll be sleeping. No, not quite, but... You need, to, you need to have some fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna do this to make sure everyone's recreation is nice and high. Which means they'll do recreation whenever they need to fill it up, and then once it's filled, they'll do whatever they need to do. Why you just... You need to do... Is there, oh, there's probably nothing to satisfy it here. Um, we have anything else? We have the Game of Ur. Dating from 25... 100 BC, this exciting but infuriating board game can be played by one or two people. Cool. Make it happen. Oh, a raid! How many of them are you? We've got one. They're good. They're gonna they'll prepare for a while and then attack. Okay, whatever. I think they're sad because we didn't help the person with paralytic ab abasia. Yeah. Hope they make it. <laughs> Probably not, but you know what? I just I cannot deal with that right now. I don't have the food, I don't have the space. We're in the middle of a raid, too, so it's just bad timing. Maybe next time. Alright, so. Alright, Huntsman. You're gonna have to just go over here, I guess. Because we're getting 
Raid it eventually. Like They're just going to kind of wander around over here for a while until they decide they want to come and die to our traps. You're there. What are you doing? Get back inside. I don't care about the lizard blood. Yeah, she is not having a good time. Why aren't you going to bed? Go to sleep. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> She's just having a, the worst day of her life. Um, no, that was that was earlier. Uh, I had a, I had a my base was mostly made of wood, and there was a thunderstorm, and it struck like right here, and it caught my whole food food storeroom on fire and burnt almost all of it. And burnt most of the a good chunk of this base, and right now we're getting raided. There's uh, some fucking little imp over here or whatever. Uh, maybe. Oh, you're you're a genie, huh? Delicate. Med has fragile skin and bones. He takes more damage than other people from the same blows. Friend. I can't afford to have any friends right now because this is all, this is like the food we have and we're kind of in a weird space set spot with it too. All right, uh, Tox Company is on their way and it's this little dude over here. He's so ready to just come and jump on my traps. Well, I'm sure it'll be useful don't you motherfucker <sighs> well he's dead now and he set my goddamn bench on fire little bastard <laughs> maybe when I when maybe when I have more food and like electricity because right now we're um in the Stone Age, <laughs> basically. Wait, why is it not letting me haul stuff to this spot? Red fox in my p oh, it's gonna hurt my muffalo. Look out! Fucking muffalo could step on this little bastard. <laughs> what? Will it let you haul him? What's going on? I have a spot specifically for all these uh, little like corpses to go to, so they just uh, rot away over here in the water. But it seems like no one really feels like doing that right now. Lemur's in, like, the wor worst mood of her life. Is it because you're on recreation time and you don't want to haul shit? Surely that's not it. I'm... Are you... <laughs> Shit's dope. Shit's being weird. Uh, let me see if there's something else I can haul. No, let's be all that. It's not the body for some reason. Hmm. That's a little annoying. Ancient podcast. Well, we're largely just trying to survive the winter, and then we'll be able to plant some stuff and research and have clothes. And next winter won't be quite as bad. We also we also trolled a crocodile earlier. There's this big megafauna kind of crocodile thing, and 
it was hanging around the base, causing some problems. So I uh, took pot shots at it while hiding in the doors. <laughs> it almost got me a few times. Okay, lemurs. Still having a, a shit day. But it should get a little better, at least. Still kind of annoyed. Your bedroom's pretty bad. I After you play Ur, repair to that. And... Okay, never mind. You're going to stone cut. Can you please stone cut? Pretty please. I've mostly been having this guy as my stone cutting dude because he's he has a plants and medic and right now it's the winter basically so neither of us are very useful immediately. Where did you're fishing. I just haul that shit back, I guess. Eat some foods. Oh, I have a turtle too. It's just kind of, it just kind of exists. <laughs> and Huntsman here is just is doing some cook stuff. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have everything set to recreation like that. That seems like a bad idea. Maybe I only have, like, the last two hours of the day set that way. Otherwise, yeah, they're just, like, stopping every, like, two seconds to, like, go play video games or play Hoopstone or Ur or whatever. A Glitter World Surgeon and Wasters. A 52-year-old Glitter World Surgeon named, called, named Lady... <laughs> Is calling from nearby. She is being chased by wasters from Tox Company. She begs for safety and offers to join you at Catasbia. If you accept, you'll have to fight off the wasters on her tail. The group of wasters is composed of one scavenger, gunner, and one thrasher. I mean, you're a surgeon, that's pretty good. And. We'll at least have one of them die to the spikes. <laughs> Rabbit guinea pig. Mm, excuse me. I did have I did have one like that earlier. Where uh I yeah, I did have one that like that earlier where they were being chased by like some something fucking ridiculous. I'm still really confused on why it won't let me haul this um, body. It's weird. Are they not considered a human corpse for this? Human-like corpse. Strangers. Like he Surely genies aren't animals. That'd be silly. Hmm. But well, whatever. I'll worry about it later. A little annoying, but yeah. Rabid, <laughs> rabid guinea pig took out a whole. Oh yeah, my thing was my my thing was um. This one person was this like duchess or whatever. He was being chased by a man hunting cat, and I was like. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel like dealing dealing with that right now. <laughs> I 
I forgot a few more spikes. Like if I could extend this ex situation here by just a little more, I'll take that quest and we'll have that person on. I'll monitor how long that quest has to go still because five hours nope nope n no no game of her yet little friend oh don't throw a hissy fit with me now it's like oh I can't play the game of her well fuck you breaks the wall <laughs> okay go to bed it's also cold we don't have like clothing for the cold so it's kind of rough but um yeah um we might regret this because this might be like the worst colonist ever Badunk. oh you want these people with the blue masks okay Oh, well, well, I guess you're good at melee, and you're good at mining. Ooh, you are artistic and... Okay, you're not... Oh, you're you're gay and abrasive. Well, like I, like I haven't heard that before. <laughs> um, well, let's have you... Um, how about you just kind of go over here for now, and then... Huntsman, you got it. Huntsman, you need to stop what you're doing and give them something to attack. Oh, that's awful timing for this traitor to show up. Or maybe it's good timing. Oh, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> oh, you done fucked up. killed this ewe that we can use for food. Ooh, is that a sawn-off shotgun? You don't say. Alright, well. That alone makes it worth taking this person on. Even though I don't know if I really want her. Honestly, but. So this is probably gonna have to remain a bedroom for a while. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. Just like, oh hey, farming trader! And then, yeah. How about that? Oh, they killed the other one, too. Oh, shit. Well, looks like dinner is served for, like, the next while. Well, let's unforbid all this stuff, because it's kind of technically ours now. A wooden mace. That seems like a bad choice. Well, well, hello, lady. Well, <laughs> her name's literally just lady. Hello, lady. Aliana Lady Burns. Uh, how about you go earn your keep real quick and haul back this uh, sawed off shotgun? Lady joins. Party! <laughs> hey! Oh, they're not quite dead yet, but they might as well be. Um, what is your stuff? Pretty nudist asexual. Good fighter. Hmm. What about the other one? What clothes do you have? A union suit. Oh! We need to strip you while you're alive. We'll just strip both of them. Because they have clothes that we might be able to actually use. Oh no, that one got up! Oh no! <laughs> Hello, Judd, I thank you for the raid. That was literally just me like five minutes ago because these this, these two people like were raiding after this uh, person named Lady that just joined us. 
and they showed up on the map right as these traitors did and they all just had a big firefight. Hey Jedi, thanks thanks for the raid. Oh, uh, ever like very frequent madness. Yeah, we just took your clothes off there. Nice flop hat. Where did you get that at? The flop hat store. What are you doing? Oh, you're just still watching for targets. Oh yeah, they're having a party. <laughs> well, someone's having a party. Forced weather for pay. All right, you can have your party, I guess. This caravan of people's still kind of showing up. Lady join. There's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Haul, um, might as well haul this too. I'll just have her haul this, haul all this garbage. And then we'll have Huntsman here haul all the ooze. Egg drugs! Not enough organ organs. I haven't gotten there yet. We're still just unga bunga people. That's, I'm doing my best. Can't hear? That's fine. Thanks for thanks for coming along with the raid. <laughs> Just a lot going on right now, all at once. That's kind of how this game does it. When it rains, it pours, and all these people are gonna come hang out of here, and they're all gonna go in my little house here to eat dinner later. Uh, what time is it? All right, Lamer, get your ass up. Go to trade with them. See what we got. Well, they let's see. We could sell the um, the muffalo we have that just decided to tame itself. Honestly, I feel like it's probably better if we just sell this muffalo. We didn't. It's self tamed, so it was just free. So that's just like a free bit of money. Um. Hmm. They don't really want to buy much else from us right now. What's well, a Purus 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 The fuck is that? Um. Oh, these people mostly just sell animals. Great, Civitherium, whatever the hell that is. You got. I don't have dinosaurs, but the one of the mods I've added called uh, Megafauna adds like big animals like there's this big like long-legged crocodile thing that I was fighting earlier because it kept like hanging around my base trying to attack my colonists so I eventually just started cheesing it and shooting at it with my bow <laughs> and hiding in the house Parurosaurus is a croc it, it probably is let me see if I can get some more info fertilized Perusosaurus. <laughs> All goes well should hatch into a baby Perusosaurus. It can be eaten raw, but it's much better cooked. I guess it's a fertilized egg. It's also expensive. There's also iguanas and duck eggs and I don't know. Uh, it's probably in our best interest though to uh, sell this this muffalo so we can use the money somewhere else. Lamer, can you haul the silver, please? That would be that would be preferable. Thank you. And now I need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna have her do other than hauling all this garbage, because yeah. I hadn't I hadn't anticipated a fourth colonist yet, but the, the opportunity presented itself, kind of. Uh, let's see, bio, you are not able to craft, so you can't do the block making stuff. You're really good at mining. And you can make art. And you can talk to people, so I guess that's fine. You have a different religion than we do, so that's kind of annoying. Child labor encouraged. Hell yeah. 
A spouse only, moderate. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. The relics are a, like, freaking mono sword and a freaking charge rifle. <laughs> the, the holy charge rifle. Uh, I love the zaniness of, like, all the random stuff that you can that happens with this game. Like, our, people sp our tribe's people spawned in with these little deer antler head masks. That was not my doing. They just kind of came that way. Well, we're going to have a lot of mouths. But it's another mouth to feed, which is not great. But we'll, I'll have to, we'll just have to figure it out, I guess. Uh, well, it's, it's, well, it's, it's one of their alive... Uh, Lambs. <laughs> I forgot the word for a second. Mm. This is considered outside, but I have part of the roof open so that it'll be nice and cold in here. But that also comes with the price of our stuff is slowly, uh, slowly decaying. But we might just end up running through it before it's even a problem. Anyway, they're doing that. We got that. Lemur's trying to research clothing, clothing so we can actually like make like hats and not be cold anymore. We right now we don't really have that. We're just kind of suffering through it. You're making more fine meals. What are you up to? You're just you're playing hoopstone. You're be the the Hoopstone Champion. Okay. I need to probably set you to be similar like this. You know what? Other than hauling, what am I going to have you do? Because... Yeah, it's... I kind of had everything figured out for these three, but now I have another person. It's just kind of... I'm just like, hmm, what do I do? Speaking of which, let me see if my roommates message me any. Doesn't look like it. Because at some point, me and my roommate need to do dinner. Which means I'll be ending this stream of this game, and I'll probably be booting up Minecraft to do more work on... Well, that's a freaky little mask. i do more work on that game. You're doing research. You can't do research. It's kind of unfortunate. Once I can get some more marble, I could have her start sculpting some art to make money, but that runs the risk of, um, that runs the risk of having too much wealth, which makes things that come after you more dangerous than they should be because you have too much money. <laughs> You're just going, going the distance, huh? And you're wearing a flop cap. <laughs> it looks silly. Silly little unga bunga man. And they're all just hanging out in my front yard. You switch to the skull mask. One of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Didn't skip a freaking. Oh, you don't have a bed yet. <laughs> Whoops. You're just sleeping on the floor. I mean. Well, um. <clears throat> Guess this can be your room for now. Again, this person just kind of came out of nowhere, so I'm just kind of at a loss of what to really do with them. There you go. It's probably better than the other ones anyway. Eh, roughly about the same. Nope, not that. Uh, this one. Uh, come on, lady, get your ass up. Go. <laughs> go to sleep. Oh, 
Oh, you you actually went and hauled the wake up. Nice. Lamer has gotten food poison. Dirty cooking. God damn it. I must have missed cleaning the cooking area one at uh, one time. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh boy. Must have missed a lot of cleaning. Well, those two are going to be fucking kind of down for the kill. Well, she's just kind of researching anyway, so it's not as big of a deal, but... That's not great. Menker had a heartfelt conversation about old earth with Senra. Yep, fucking old earth. Got a chassis here. Cool. It's a little colder than I thought it was gonna be, but uh, kind of an awkward spot because there's not much for us to really do. Again, why can I not like haul this body? Can Genie's not go in the same spot? I can probably haul all the other critters. I mean, surely you're not a freaking mechanoid. War urchin. <laughs> Sounds like a freaking boss from Dark Souls. The war urchin. <laughs> yeah, there's no just genie body. Uh, hello, colonist, stranger, large. Yeah, I can't figure it out. There's weirdness going on here where it won't let me put this body where it should let me be putting it there, but it's not. Like, if I go to this other one up here. It'll let me haul this one. Are you a, are you a baseliner or were you a baseliner? No, oh, you're a, you're a waster. You're something else, but it just doesn't want me to put this genie in the same corpse pile. Guess I'll have to bury it. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Actually, we can um open this. We can open this one. And what? Why is their dog bleeding out? Oh, it got sh it got shot with the sawed-off shotgun earlier, and they just never tended it. The fuck. Like, we, we gotta save the dog. I didn't. I didn't notice that. We, we, we kind of have to, you know. Oh, that's. I realize why now. It's because this is technically already considered a stockpile, but I don't want corpses to be here. I just. Realize that's why the body is there. If we do that, it should make it to where we can. Well, we'll just do that. All right, well. Wait, where's Lady? Oh, you're a, she's asleep. She has like very high medical, so maybe I should have her tend to the dog. Um, actually, no, we're t we're tending the dog now. We're saving the dog. Well, I didn't even see it until I was like looking around over here. I don't wasn't keeping track of all things on the map. <laughs> I didn't even know it got shot earlier by the uh, person up here because this is the person that had the shotgun. And he kind of just shot into the crowd. But we are, we'll take care of this pupper to the best of our ability. Extreme blood loss, but not too extreme. <clears throat> Can 
Could we give him a blood transfusion? No. Oh, God. Don't sterilize the dog. Uh, what's its own? I think it's fine outside. Yeah, I guess we're gonna just feed it some of our rice. We don't have much else we can really do. Oh, what's this one? A machine persona in an orbiting ship wants to perform some planetary experiments. However, she carries out her experiment. A weather-controlled system will force the weather around Cataspia to be a fog for 18 days. Um, honestly, I feel like that's probably fine. I don't think that would really make things much worse. And a homing recurve bow sounds sick as fuck. Its instruction behaves like a tuned spring, storing energy more efficiently, delivering a faster. Yeah, we're. Yeah, we're taking that. Like, like hopefully I didn't make a mistake, and the, the temperature's not gonna like. It's just a fucking bone chair too. Uh. We can put it over here, I guess. Uh, where are you, Huntsman? That that bow is for you. Did you already equip the bow? Somebody equipped that bow already? I definitely should have gotten a bow with that, too. Somebody already hauled... Oh, yeah, somebody... <laughs> Somebody already halt. That thing is gonna do some damage. I tell you what. You've detected a logging worksite near nearby, controlled by Not Do Concord. Well, if they're named Not Do, are they? Is it, are they even doing anything there? I mean, it's in the name. <laughs> Not Do. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep all the little bodies here. And that bow is now yours. You need to eat some food there, little filly. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, what are you doing? He's just vomiting all over the ground. Oh yeah, he's got food poisoning. That explains why she's also in a bad mood is because... She also has food poisoning currently, I think. And what are you? Are you just cleaning? I mean, could be worse, I guess, but. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and start doing production for uh, art stuff. Probably not a bad deal. That'd give her something to actually do. Yeah, she's mostly in a bad mood because she's trying to propose to Huntsman, who they are lovers, and he's just like, nah. <laughs> so, I'm not, not doing so great right now. In a bit of a rough patch. How's the pupper doing? No, don't do operations. Uh, let's see. Oh, the blood loss is recovering. And it's not too cold, so... It should recover pretty nicely. Okay, what are you up to, Huntsman? Playing the game of Ur. Why are you resting? Oh, it's two, it's 10 p.m. I guess. I guess you're allowed to sleep. She's just doing everything she can not to fucking lose her goddamn mind. It's just kind of a bad time. Darkness, stuck in doors, denied joining. Yeah, that doesn't help either. Uh, slept in the cold. Yeah. Chilly.
How about you? How about you warm up the uh, this room in here? Oh damn it! Well, we got plenty of stuff to build with at least. I prefer if you stop botching the construction. Little Miss, eighty-eight percent construction success with. Food poisoning and being probably cold. All right, let's figure out what we're going to make art wise. Terror sculpture. You're only allowed to make stuff out of mar marble. We don't have quite enough marble, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Just run around, just run around in circles for a little bit. Or honestly, if you want, you can just haul some marble chunks to the little zone over here, and then we can cut them there. Okay, kitchen is clean. We'll have to monitor that while he's cooking, because unfortunately there's not. Yeah, okay. Yep. Level 8 cooking. Nice. It'd be really great if, like, I want to have 10,000 people running through here all the time, tra tracking dirt everywhere. Why are you not cooking? Oh, we're missing vegetarian because I don't have this allowed. Cook, damn you. Refuel and cook. <laughs> it's time to cook, Huntsman. this is just kind of wading through winter because there's not much to really do you need to do this because it's kind of like your purpose in life most of the time this little shitty tree needs to kind of go away it's taking up viable rock real estate oh I forgot about these um, the temperature keeps fluctuating, so it's kind of annoyingly, like, oh, I also put a fire in here, so that's why the temperature's a little higher. Oh. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to cut these little, little guys, these little guys up. So now she's uh, working on this. Lemurs awake. 
still in a very bad mood. <laughs> Understandable. It's just kind of cold and not great. Uh, disturbed sleep, great. I, I love that happening. In a few days, that will go away. It's been so long since I've seen the sky. You know what? Fine. Go outside. There you go. You got your outside time. <laughs> Needy bastards. A lot of them. Well, oh, this chair like belongs to. Oh, this is like a throne room chair. I was like, it's like, huh? Weird chair. Okay. Oh, you need to. You need to stop, Mister. You need to like stop doing that. He, they get like very focused on just doing that. To the point of like ridiculousness. Winter has begun. War merchant from the Gray Mule Brana. Well, we've got a little bit of silver, so maybe we could scrounge something together. Maybe we could sell this chair. Because now this is a throne room, which is weird. Maybe they'll buy this chair and then we can uh, buy like a rifle or something. A steel mining worksite nearby controlled by Magup Moil Pact. Interesting name. Oh, y'all just gonna stay out over there? Alright, fine, whatever. <clears throat> uh, Uentatherium, long extinct giant mammals, brought back to life as part of the megafauna project. A very primitive giant cousin of rhinoceros. It is neither the most beautiful nor the most intelligent animal in history, with its brain being merely the size of an orange. Me too. But it can make up for it with its strong back, which renders it a good partner for a journey. Cool. What else you got? Um, Flamebow? Interesting. I mean, we're keeping the sound off shotgun because that could be very life saving. Uh, we're gonna give it this bone mask thing. Don't really want that. Don't know if we need this union suit. <laughs> Onion suit. Uh, you can have this wooden mace. It's not very good. Uh, steel club. You can have those. That you can have the wake up. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I was hoping these would have something good. Since they're a war merchant, I was hoping, like, a gun. But no, these are the other tribal folks, so they're not going to have guns. That's still a good amount more uh, silver for offloading some stuff. Leaving the map because of dangerous temperature. And yeah, once we run out of uh, veg vegetables, we'll have to uh, resort to um We'll have to resort to uh, just doing normal, simple meals. Okay, you're researching, which is good. We need that desperately. You're hauling meat or meals or something. I don't know what you're really doing. You probably should be doing this. Comp Ooh. That's a really nice meteor to get. That's a lot of components. Holy shit. 
That's amazing. That's actually great. <clears throat> it's a lot of components for a lot of cool stuff later. Uh, we need like a, an ideogram or a ritual spot or something. Oh wow, yeah, this thing needs to be like far away from anything remotely. That's not a message I have to worry about. Neither of those or that. Or that. Okay. I'm expecting soon that my roommate will want to do dinner or something. Because we usually do that around like 5 or 6 and it's now 7. So I might need to actually pause real quick and go see what's up. So I'm going to mute up and I'll be right back. All right, Sound, seems like we're getting some delivery stuff, so I can still do stuff for now until it gets here. All right, so researching, cooking, bricks, and you're making this thing, <laughs> whatever it is. be enough to start getting some bedrooms decked out a little bit. Eventually they're going to be moving up into here.
He was just going to town on these marble pieces. Sometimes there's not much else you can really do in RimWorld except just kind of keep on, keep on till the storyteller makes something happen. Is just not doing great still. She's gonna not be doing great for a little bit. <laughs> At the very least, she's about to have a nice bed, a nicer bedroom. Excuse me. <laughs> Lady sn sniggered at Lemur's father's value as. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> well, y'all are on a date? Huh. Oh, you are bi. And you are gay. I guess that makes sense, but. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna cause some fucking problems. <laughs> it's like, your father's a piece of shit. Wanna go on a date? <laughs> Jesus. And it's so dark. Yeah, we're just. We're, we're, I'm gonna get them. Well, he went to bed without me even really noticing. Oh, we can focus on her now and her construction project here. Uh, I don't think I can make better beds yet, can I? No. I, I could probably make a double bed roll at this point with all the plain leather I have, but... Eh. Not, re not really worth the time. I'll have a double bed soon enough. Because after I get this clothing stuff done, we're going to research... Oh boy, two people have the flu. <sighs> you sons of bitches. Guess you're gonna have to wait on that bedroom a little longer because that's gonna have to become a hospital. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> two people. One of them is, a pe is the fucking cook. Oh, son of a bitch. Game likes to do that shit to ya. No, we're just gonna build a. Just fucking bleh. You're just gonna make a bunch of meals, as many as I can. And then you're gonna just be in bed for like the next forever, cause I gotta get you folks. 
healed up and tended. Thankfully, Lady here actually um, is a good doctor. That is one advantage we have, is that we have a good doctor now. He's an alright doctor, but she's actually a good one. Okay, whatever. And... Oh, when did this when did that tend? Did he tend himself? Someone must have. Maybe Lady did that before I even noticed she was doing that. You know, it looks like the immunities uh, overtake keeping its winning over anyway. So yeah, after he after he cooks all this food. He's going to rest until his flu is gone. Oh, game. Game, why are you doing this to me right now? Well, I want to I don't I want to dream of attacking them right now with my limited uh, weaponry. <laughs> that would be a, a bad idea. Give me one sec. Well, our food should be here soon, so let me get this cooking stuff done real quick. What is going on? Too much going on. A gremlin pod. Very cool. But goodness gracious, I don't have the brain to focus on all this stuff that's happening all at once. There's not that many more. Oh, I don't even know where the dog went, but I think it got, uh, I think it healed and left. I didn't get it, I didn't see anything for it, but yeah, I'm almost certain that it just like left. <laughs> I just looked and just noticed that it was gone. I didn't hear any dog noises, so yeah, I must have just like left. All right, so it looks like our food is here, so I am going to end this stream here, eat dinner, and then be back at like a little bit later with some Minecraft. It's a little far, Ash. I would if I could, though, but. Yeah, so that's where this stream is going to Thank you all for coming by. Thank you, Jedi, for the raid. Uh, let me see if I can raid someone else in turn real fast. Let's see. Um, oh, absolutely. So, yeah, I'm, we're going to be raiding uh, Haleen today. I don't usually get the chance to. So we're going to raid into Haleen and see how they are doing with Zero Escape. So... I'm going to end this stream and only a few hours. Yeah, only like six and a half. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end this stream. We're going to be rating Hey, Hey, Lane. Say hi when you get there, please. <laughs>